Don't touch anything. <laughs> it's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton. Oh, welcome to The Real Deal with me, Larry Lawton. And we have a great show here on this great Friday. I got a special guest in the studio, in the studio with me, and he's going to be here all weekend having a great time. I got Rude Jude from the All Out Show on Sirius XM 45, the Shade 45 Eminem channel. Am I correct, dude? Yo, yo, you nailed that shit. I did nail it. See, I might be fucked up beforehand, but I he usually get it. He was all over the place before he turned the mic on, and you <laughs> fucking stuck the landing. I fucking hit it. I hit it. stuck that landing. You and did. I got Laura here. Uh, Laura is a great friend. You'll hear her on our show. She, she's helping with the parenting program. She's helping with a couple other things. Laura is one of my close, close friends. Her husband is a great, great friend, and we are opposites. And we just connect. And we might have some surprise guest. I don't know yet. Uh, we have the mic yeah. set up for him. Yeah. Well, I'm I jumping right into the show because, you know, I'm looking at this thing and, and having a great time. First of all, Jude, did you like that opening? It, was, uh, it scared the shit out of me. I was, <laughs> I was over there. I, like, I didn't realize I had PTSD. Into that. <laughs> like, oh, shit. We had, you know, it's funny because uh, that was given to me by uh, Bulldog on the uh, Rude, that's the Rude Awakening show in Maryland. Yeah. It's a big show, and he's been on for over 25 years. Uh, he's got a big morning show, 6 to 10, and I go to, I know him well. And he made that. It was a gift. He wow. said, you got this beautiful roadcast that's the best machine you can buy, and that you still, and you had the, the opening, what they give you. What you know, the bullshit. What, what does the OG one sound like? This the old one. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's not it. Yeah. That is not it, but I'm going to show you what That's the old one. Classic. Here's the old one. That's some bullshit, but I had the old one, and it's funny because he's seen that uh, uh, bulldog, and he goes, Larry, you got a fucking show doing so well, doing all this stuff, and you got this crap. So they surprised me. I actually went back the next week oh, and did the nice. show. Actually, that's when Nick came up and helped me drive back. That back. Of course. And he yeah. met them. He met the owner of this place. Laura, you want to talk about a uh, centric guy? This guy owns half of freaking Merrill, Mel, Mel, uh, Maryland. I'm not kidding you. And he comes on my show. He gets fucked up with me. I mean, well, we, we happen to do that, uh, you know, drink. Not with Laura. Just some, no. Yeah, just some not drinks. Not with Laura. Yeah. Just some drinks. Laura, you want to join? No, I'm good. No. <laughs> I feel like I got to be on my best behavior. Well, uh, me with this show? Well, with Laura. I'm oh, like, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, I was, she was telling me no. about her son. I was like, man, have him holler at me. And the look, <laughs> yo, the look you gave me was like, no, no I ain't having my kid talk, talk to you. No, no fucking way, sir. <laughs> Hey, Jude, uh, yes. uh, you know, I'm glad to have you, and thank you for coming. From Thanks all, for picking yeah. me up from the airport. Yeah, you know, Jude came in from Detroit, man. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. How was the flight in? Not bad. I mean, how long did it take you, actually? Two hours. Me? Dude, I got bumped up to first class, so that was... <gasps> That's good. I mean, what the hell? not that anymore. Yeah, right? And then... <laughs> they I was bumped you? I was they know who you were. Nah. Ah. I got that credit card. I'll be running up. <laughs> <laughs> buying shit when I'm on sleeping pills and stuff like oh. that. I didn't, I didn't go to bed last night because I was like, it's such an early thing. And then You uh, had to be at the airport really early, right? Yeah, and then I was going to go to sleep, and then they bumped me up. And wow. I'm so cheap, and I just love free shit, so I couldn't go to sleep because I wanted the... <laughs> yeah, because you could start drinking on that. Oh, yeah, I wanted the drink. food. I got a charcuterie yeah, right. plate. Uh, uh, did, you, did you have any Bloody Marys? I had three of them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> well, and right now he's got... What are you drinking today? I'm just... Uh, uh, what is that, a Maker's or a yeah, Glen of, Levitt? I or? think I'm drinking what you're drinking, but like... Glen Fittich, maybe? Yeah, one of the... Oh. Whatever you got. Glen Levitt. Glen Levitt. Glen Levitt. Yeah, it's I'm a probably bummer people out because I put Canada... No, I did too. I, I do too. too. I, I, listen, I'm, I'm a, I'm a weak, weak drinker too. Now, I, actually, Laura knows. I'm not a big drinker, am I, Laura? Not a big drinker, no. Uh, I, I would agree with that. I, I, you know, I mean, I drink and I'll get yeah. messed up now and then, but I, I really don't... I'm not, I don't know what it is because I don't want to feel hungover. You know, I hate yeah. that feeling of hungover. I mean, I had my days that I would, did a lot of drinking. And I just don't, I, I don't get me wrong. I've been drunk with Laura's husband so bad once on a cruise ship. Oh, my gosh. She almost, uh, oh, she was so mad at me. She was mad at her husband. I, I made her get up on stage. tell he her, Laura. He forced me to get up on stage for some oldie wed game. What the fuck is that? Exactly. Oh, it's like where you and your husband <laughs> yeah, got like it's just guess bullshit what's going on? questions. Like, what would you do if? And, <laughs> and Laura's husband you? was. I was so drunk. Yeah. And I got them up there. I was, I was pushing. And we were carrying around 
water bottles full, full of vodka, vodka in yeah. our suit jackets. Two of them. Yeah, I, I think thought they just gave that. you free drinks on. I know. I don't think you can do that anymore. No. Well, yes, you can. We so, just, it was a thrill for This is what John said to me, the husband. She goes, yeah. Larry, we can afford the booze. Yeah. But I said, no, we're, we're, we're bringing it on. So we took two gallons of, of one of, of vodka and one of that was uh, too much. rum. Yeah. And we, we would drink it. I said, no. He goes, Larry, never again. No. I'll buy your food back. Your, yeah. your no, drink man. Back. Yo, he can't. You got this inner tacky and you, you yeah, just can't. I just couldn't yeah. do it, man. And, you know, I got stopped in the air. Uh, what happened was our luggage comes through and I got all this uh, booze on my luggage. So I went down. They call you down to the, uh, uh, like, a security room. Yeah. And, I, and there's a little, little, poor little guy, Mexican. And I go, give me that. That's my water. <laughs> he got all nervous. He gave me all the shit and I left yeah, man. He, he thought was, I was gonna kill yeah, him or something. He did, yeah. <laughs> you gotta act like he knows what's going on. Yeah, bro. I said, that's my water. What why? I can't have water? He goes, uh, uh I said, give me my water, give me my luggage. And I, I took my luggage. Because my luggage was the only luggage that didn't get to the get door. Delivered, yeah. You didn't get to the they door. They saw your shit was swishing. And they're yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, that shit over. I think it was me. They go, Check it in. We know he's got something on this damn thing. You ever been on a cruise? I'm afraid of cruises, man. I don't like Really? Little I don't like that shit. Don't say little boats. You say not little. Well, just little rooms. Oh, oh yeah. how would you do in prison? Not good, man. <laughs> Not fucking good, bro. You ever, you ever been arrested? Yes. Oh, can you talk about it? Uh, yeah, it was. Um, I I was smarting off to the cops. Not a good move. I was smarting off to the cops, and it was a it was a homecoming game, and I went to a rich school. Uh, and they were playing the school I was supposed to go to, so I knew a little bit of everybody. So I was really feeling myself. I think I was like, I just turned 17, mm. and uh, the cop was telling me to beat it, and I just was, it was a big-ass, big-ass lady, uh, somewhat a Z, like Rodriguez or some Puerto Rican, and uh, she she beat up all the hookers in the area. <laughs> she was known for gut-stomping the whores on, uh, what say this? She had a reputation. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She did. She was, she was telling me to leave, and I was like, I don't got the keys. I was sitting on my, uh, this kid's Monte Carlo, and I was sitting on, and I was like, I don't got the keys, and everybody was partying in the, uh, partying in the parking lot. So I'm like, why, like, why are you looking at me, man? Like, I don't have keys to this car. And she was in my face, and finally, this kid, I was like, yo, Danny, man, she want us to go. And I said something slick to her. I was like, man, you need to listen to Light FM or some shit. Like, it'll put you in a better mood. <laughs> that wasn't good. No. Um, and she was like, what'd you say? I hate you fucking wannabes. That was before they came up with the word wigger. So oh she was like, <laughs> she's like, I hate you fucking wannabes. And I was like, man. And uh, you, you look at Nick. He's getting ready with your jumpsuit yeah, already. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, like, it's funny because it's like my homeboy, Loke, was like, that. It's my like Locus is that guy like, hey, you want to walk to the moon? He's like, bet. And then we go to the moon. Like he's day one, always best friend. And my buddy Rochi was fucking with some rich black chick. And uh, we're all in the back seat and some other kids in the front. And uh, I, she said that shit to me. And I was like, man, fuck that fat bitch. Let's go. And she was like, what? Uh, uh. And she, you know, them, them walkie talkies that are like a fucking half yard long. Oh. Like, she bucked me in the face with a walkie talkie. Oh, she like, smacked you. Oh, dog, yeah, just laughed. And I was like, oh, shit. And then she wound up to hit me again. I caught it. And I was like, <laughs> not doing that again. And not doing that again. And then my dumb ass threw it out the other window because I didn't want to get hit in the face because it was painful. It's reflexive, you know. And, I, and, I, and I'm, telling, I'm telling my man, driving, like, yo, back, back. Let's go, man. Let's get the fuck out. Let's, <laughs> let's get going. Try to get out of there. Let's get going. Back, back. And he was like, what? And he's all shook. And then next thing you know, just all the mace, just all oh, the mace ouch. busted me dead in my face. I fell I've, out. I've been mace. I've been mace with you. You know that? I'm just, yeah, you, and I fall out. I can't breathe. Yeah. You can't breathe. Your snot coming out of your nose. The then, oh my then god! You, spill. you ever been mace, Laura? I, I have to admit, I've never been mace. No, you ever yeah. been arrested? Oh, oh she's you. taking the fifth. Fifth. Hold up, Larry. Oh Here's the crescendo. So I'm Go on ahead. the ground and I'm feeling boo, boo, boo on my head. And she was wailing on me, dog. So she was beating the shit out of, like, she was uh, punching me in my head. Oh. And I was like, this bitch. And I just went straight instinct. So I pop up, and I can't see shit, and I'm just swinging like a caveman. And so now I'm fighting the police. Yeah. And then Resisting. that went bad. Yeah, that went bad. Never I, win. I opened my eyes, and Loke was on her back, wailing on her, because he's like five foot nothing. And I could Oh, say, your friend is on her back. Yep. Oh and I, she's gosh. beating the shit out of two of you. 
Well, we was <laughs> like, I, I I could go like open my eyes for like a split second, you know, because it's thinking. when the air hits you, ah, and uh, I'm like, hell yeah, low getting her. And then that gave me spirit. So I'm like doing that shit. And she was a big bitch, bro. She was big as hell, like bigger than me. And I'm like, hell yeah. And then all of a sudden, I was told, I didn't get to see this, this, this uh, real cocky black officer saw me from a distance. And he was like, this motherfucker. And he ran as fast as he could and just hit me with a running uppercut. And wow. I, boom. I flew into the car and I was like, I don't want to fight no more. <laughs> <laughs> you quit. They didn't get the message for a couple seconds after, about 30 seconds after. And that's what they, uh. that's what they arrested me for. And did you, did you have to spend time in jail? Yeah, I did like a, it was right on Columbus day too, man. So I did like the fucking long ass weekend. Just that's not jail. That's just jail. Yeah, that's yeah not, no, like, I didn't go to jail. You, yeah, no, yeah, no, you, I went to count Oak City. County jail. Yeah, yeah, but like I was afraid to poop in public until jail, and then like by the fourth day, I was like, "Fuck this." Yeah. Oh, you got to go. You got to go. Now I can poop anywhere. Yeah. Listen, you know, I often tell you know, give me I, that cup. I. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. I I often talk to people. I say, you know, what 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 really desensitized me with prison is I can literally stand up right now. Take my clothes off, lift my balls, turn around, spread my ass, and I lost my, uh, you know, like I, I hate to say dignity or yeah, yeah. whatever it is. And I remember when you gave that talk in front of a bunch of people at the park the other. I don't know. It's been about a year or so, and you t- and I th- I found that sad that you had lost. I, I, I do too. That I you looked had at that. Lost that that you couldn't. You know, I, I, it is. I I think about the little things that you lose yeah. when you go to prison. And even the stuff today that I like, uh, I feel when cops come, I, I'm legit. I don't have anything on me. I'm good. And I'm still worried Yo, when a fucking cop, I don't they, know what it is. When they pull up behind you, like, I, I think most people, like, I'm like, oh, shit, man. Well, fuck. Laura does because she's a speeder. I am. I drive fast. <laughs> but it, uh, what he was saying, it's too bad that I feel like we shouldn't feel that way. Well, I mean, well, I, I, you can't stop, stop yourself. Stop feeling, feeling that way. way. I know. Yeah, exactly. Stop it. <laughs> okay, I'm done. You know, no, no, I'm done. Laura. Did, did no, you take you're anything not. from being in prison? Like, take that, positive. Like, yeah, I mean, like, all right. So you've been dehumanized to where you got to yeah. show the inside of your asshole. Like, is there anything that like you got from that? Like, or uh, is there any wisdom that you took from zero? All right. Well, Meaning, no, no, right, no, no, no. I know what he's saying. I, like, there's, there's really zero positive that comes out of prison. Uh, you lose things that you don't think to mean something, and then it means something. I'll tell you the one thing that really made me uh, understand a few things. One, you could live anywhere, and you don't care. You know, I live in a, a, with my mom in this little house, and I love it, and I live in this room pretty much. Laura knows that. And, you know, it doesn't bother me. I don't need a mansion. I don't need a house. I don't need – I live. I love my RV. You know, and uh, right. you know how it is. Nice. I mean, I could live it's in a that. beautiful RV. Thank you. But you know yes. what I mean? It's I'm serious. It, it, no, I, it, I love it. You know that, Laura. It doesn't. I think that help. Uh, also, like when things go bad in your life, no matter what, in, in, uh, they're not always good in life. Everybody has ups and downs. I don't care if you have money or not, or it doesn't matter. It could be kid issues. It could be this issue. I, I, I step back and I, and I always think it a positive this. One, I'm free. I'm literally free. I have very close friends that yeah. I, they love me. That I, I couldn't shock them. Am I correct, Laura? Yeah. I really couldn't. I mean, and I think that's, that means a lot in your life. So I look at that. Jude, you know, we talked about that online, you know, at nights. You know, we sit, Jude and I will sit and talk. And we come from the streets, you know, so it's easy to talk. And we connected so well. We met in Miami. We got fucking trashed. But it was like I, you know, we talked for years. And then we met, and it's like, I, it, it was like, It was right? kind of surreal, because we were like, yeah, we've been cool forever. And I'm like, oh, like, it, it, it you're just a human continued. being, just like me. And then we just, it, yeah, we didn't and, miss a beat. And, yeah, and we didn't miss a beat, and it was kind of like, so I looked at the, the, the best things, I think, I like the situations and the moments I'm in. I don't look to, I don't give a fuck about a celebrity or something of that nature. Even I got a celebrity here. You know, really. I mean, yeah. a serious X and radio guy. No, he is. He is absolutely, and I don't look at yeah. him like two that. Two published books. Yeah, three. I mean, yeah, three published books. Three. Three right. pub. Three. Yeah. I so I know three. hyena and the hummingbird. And then the last one I dropped last year called Finn. But Finn. I, oh. yeah. I, I have it here, Laura. I have it here. I'll uh, give it to you. I yeah. went to rehab. I read the. I read the COVID first one. Yeah. Was, so that was the Finn one. Yeah, that was the Got last it. one. Yeah, tell us about the books. Tell us about your three books. Well, I just want to speak on the uh, like uh, you were talking about 
the other thing just about being grateful. And I think, yeah, I yeah. think everybody can relate to that. Well, you know, I, I don't know. Cause you know, a lot of people cry. It, listen, I, what I try to express to people is this. I got out of prison at 46 years old. Uh, you know, your life is over. You're an ex-con. You can't do anything. You got no money. And I never looked at it like that. I, I really love my relationships with the friends and yeah. the people I have. That mean more to me than any money you can make. It really does. Cause I have people that I believe, and you notice, Lord, that they love me. I mean, for what? They, I am a nut. I'm a little crazy. I'm fucked up. But you don't judge me, ever. But when you got out, you had those true friends, your cousin, <laughs> and Joe. Louie and, Louis and Louis. Joe. Very, they're dead now. I mean, uh, two of my closest friends uh, yeah. passed away. And they helped me through a lot. You know? So you didn't just walk out alone to your mom? No, you did, no. You did have... I had close friends. You know, uh, you know I, I'm going to do this to that way. I went to prison, Jude, you can understand this. I went away, didn't rat. My word meant everything, mm. still does. And I believe in that. I just, and Joe and Louie didn't uh, judge me. Joe used to say, my buddy used to say, I hope he don't come out and have to work at some McDonald's because he's going to stuff the manager in the fucking fryer or some shit. I, so, you know. <laughs> I agree with Joe, yeah. You know, because that yeah. was not that, the job, it's just, just telling some punk ass kid. That's what I don't like with policing. When a cop treats you like they fucking like you're a nobody, and he's a 22 year old punk, and he's, hey, wait, you know what you did? You blew the light. Well, go fuck yourself, motherfucker. Talk to me with a little respect or something. I'll talk to you with respect. I, I believe in that. What are you gonna do though? Like people are fucking people. You're gonna get some good ones and some bad ones. Yeah, I've had like anyone's like, fuck, fuck all the cops. It's like you haven't been arrested enough. No, man. no, I, I, had, no right. I know you're not saying that, no. but like, I bet you get good cops, you get bad cops, man. I've had cops really be fucking dicks. And then I've had cops like, yo, man, get the fuck out of here and, and let us go. You know, it's just. Yeah, you know, Jude, it's funny human, because uh, people talk about when I, I was tortured in prison. And, man, I, I try not to think about it sometimes. But I was strapped down naked, pissed on, and spit on. And, and look, I get the fucking chills when I think about it. But what happened with that is I also had guards that would open the chute door and fucking talk to me and probably save my life. Uh, there was this big black guard. I, I, really, I, I forget his name, but. He really was one of the guys that saved me. I was ready to kill myself. I was in a hole for a long time, and I contemplated suicide many times and literally planned how to do it. My buddy killed himself. And I'm sitting in there, and he would open the chute door, you know, where they put the food in. And this is at nighttime. He was a night guard, and he would start talking to me. And he knew. He goes, man, I, I know you're going through a lot. He said, I know they're fucking with you. He goes, and, he, and, I, and I'm, I used to get very mad at him. Because I talk to him, but he, then we talk about everything. We talk about the Bible, and I'm not religious because I debate him on it. Or I would we talk about a lot of different things. And I used to when he left, I used to say, "Man, you know I'm getting fucked with. Why don't you do something? Why don't you do something?" It took me five years after getting out to understand to understand that that man was trying to protect his own family, put his you know get a yeah. paycheck, get his 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 and family. He was doing to, what he could. He was doing what he's yeah, good, and I and I love the guy. I mean, I, I can picture bro. him. So, vis, I can picture him so well, right. and, and he just it was at a time that you needed that one. That's why you needed someone to talk to, or you need you're in a hole. That's why to this day, Laura, you know when I didn't have my my easy pass just with you I for know, a while, yeah. uh -huh. uh, I stop at the booth. Where you give Sorry. the change, yeah. and I actually say to the dude, "Hey man, thank you. I hope you're having a good day." I've had got people doing that say, "Hey, thank you for stopping saying that," because you don't know what he's going through at that moment. You don't know what somebody's going through. I try to tell, teach young people, you know, you go to a store, go to Winn Dixie, you go somewhere, grab a lady's package, help her out, open open the door for her, and say, "Man, I hope you have a good day." I'll be You'd be surprised uh, how how people react, yeah. and you just don't know what they're going through. Right. And I look at my own life, and uh, listen, I'm a fucking, I have a good heart, but I know I'm a little crazy uh, at times, and I can get very, uh, what, do, what do you call it, adamant, and, or uh, very, uh, as Laura says, ADD to the fucking, actually, yeah, you know, Laura, they're sending me to my psych, and they said, I need Adderall. Well, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't know, you? do I, Jude? You about to be the plug. <laughs> It's hard to get right now, uh, here, buddy. <laughs> no, I just think you know, I, I, my brain goes a lot of ways. You know it does, that, yeah. and uh, Laura, Laura, you you help me a lot, even with we're doing with the parenting. That just oh, keeping yeah, yeah. me on track. Um, uh, she she does a way of when I start talking, dude, she'll fucking like 
Oh, I'm watching, bro. Like, I got to watch the whole deal before. It, <laughs> yeah. y'all, I got to see back behind the scenes, y'all. Like, now, it's, and it's, it's, a, it's a deal. Hey, it's dude, let, let, I want to ask you, give What's an that? audience. Obviously, you have the Sirius XM, the Shade 45. Yes. Uh, you, how did you get, you You started your career. Tell everybody how you started your career. Uh, it's a great story, Laura. I started on Jenny Jones' show, which was a talk show back in the day. These cats probably don't even, it's just, yeah. it, it went to I watched 04. some of it on your the YouTube yeah. videos. So it, how did you meet her? I mean, what? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What happened was I was I kept getting in trouble, but not giant trouble because I wasn't a total violent fucking dude. I just was like a low key. I can't even say I got in trouble because I'm sitting next to fucking this dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got pissed on. I'm like, yeah, well, they thumped on, they gut stopped me for a little <laughs> bit in a parking lot, and then my. It was really tight on nah, my Nah, everybody, everybody's shit is everybody's oh, everybody shit. shit is, yeah, relative. but like, yeah, so yeah. I, could, I, couldn't so never leave, I couldn't leave the state for the longest. And my homegirl, I got two friends. All right, I, like, I haven't talked to them forever, but two girls that I was really cool with sending before and after pictures of, like, I used to be hot, or I used to be ugly, now I'm hot. One got picked. And then... That was the show? So yeah, so she was like, I don't want to go out there, da, da, da. I don't want to go by myself. I'm afraid. And I was like, I'll go out there and we'll just say I made fun of you. And uh, my family was against it because they were like, we're poor, but we're not fucking trash. You're not doing this. Right. I was like, fuck you. Because <laughs> it's like, I love you, but like, y'all really, that's the, you know what the, the, you know what I got that a lot of these cats don't have? My parents wasn't, weren't there. So I feel real comfortable saying, fuck you. And I don't feel like they don't love me or any, like I never doubted my parents love, but I have freedom to be like, fuck off. And so many people live for their parents and uh, in, a, in the most respectful way uh, to my parents. But like, yo, I'm, I'm going to live my life. I've been on my own since forever. And uh, they were really against it. I went on there. I was really petrified. Going on there to talk. Now, did, they, did the they show know you're going to do that? No, they didn't know shit. They just, she, the, uh, my homegirl, she's a black chick. She just said there was this dude that clowned on me. They called me up. We just kind of went along with it. And uh, so you started clowning on it and, and they picked it up like you had no mic on you or anything. No, like no, no. That. They, I was, I, they brought me out as a guest and oh, it was okay. like, y'all was afraid. I never been on like I never had done anything like that. And I was coming on TV as a bad guy. And I just remember my, my grandmother. She t- she was always like, I just centered my energy. I try to get grounded. I brought in some light through the top and I went out there and just fucking just clowned. You clowned on her. I yeah. clowned on the whole audience. The, the whole audience. Everybody. Yeah, I, I watched some of it, and, and he, he stopped watched. right at the line. It, he did perfect, just enough to get them laughing and having fun. Yeah, was, now, was, now, now did the producers, like, did they say Yo, man, what to do? Oh, bro, it's so crazy. Like, I can, I watch television now, and I can see shit, man. Like, uh, yeah, the producers got in my face. was like, all right, man, you're going to be the first one on here. And she was talking mad shit about you and this, that, and the third. And then in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah. No, she wasn't. Like, <laughs> and he's he's and he's trying to hype me up, and I was like, "Yo, I got this, I got this." Um, like that Jenny Jones shit though, like with the gay dude getting shot. She didn't know about that. Like the producers run so much stuff, and then she just comes out on stage, just the same deal. Like they, they there's so much, so, there's so many moving parts. Right. Oh yeah, TV. Of so course. yeah, they brought me out, and uh, I started off kind of playful, and they yeah. didn't, and uh, they didn't know what to do with me. They they got so many phone calls. Either they want people want to fight me or hang out with me, and they didn't know what to do with me. So then I started being a dude that made fun of people. So did they ask you to come back then and do that? Yeah, yeah, I did like eighty something shows. So, but what I'm saying after that first show, they said, "Come on back, you do it again." To somebody else, the phone lines went crazy. They never had that many calls. So I just the, the next one was like me versus some lady that wanted to yell at me. So I blazed the fuck out of her, and then it just kept going and going and Don going. Don Rickles. Straight up, yeah. Sure. To, and, like, some of the best shit wasn't even on camera because you can't, you know, yeah. it get edited out. So, right. like, I just say some f- fucking fire shit to get the whole crowd hype, and then I do it. And then I, then I do the, like, the Another tame one. joke for yeah. television. But and they it, would get all excited when he would come up and the whole audience would go crazy. Yeah, like, some want to fight you, yeah, some want to, yeah. There goes Rude Jude. It was yeah. like the people's champ, you know what I mean? Like, whatever Cass was yelling at the, the at He the would say what they were thinking. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so now you did that eighty shows. Now, did you sign a contract with them or anything? It, at the tail end, at the first man, like they they knew what they had with me. I was just some dude in Michigan, and this was like it's gonna be hard for cats to wrap their heads around. This is like before the internet, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So like, I didn't have options. 
Yeah. So I get paid 300 bucks cash. A I show. go out there, yep. Do clown on somebody, sign autographs, and then go back to a shit job the next day. I got, you know, a gay bar, bathroom attendant, fucking wiping down <laughs> poles at the strip club. I was a security <laughs> anything, guard. Anything you could. Wash windows. I love that, yeah. though. Like, I just, know? yeah, so it was like a weird thing. So you do that. Now you do 80 shows, right? The show comes, now 80 shows is how many seasons? Like five seasons. So you on for five seasons. And yeah. did, at what point did they sign a contract with you? When I moved to L.A. Okay. And Finally, they, they gave me some respect. But and did they give you money, more money? I didn't. Yeah, I, I did bad. They gave me like 40 grand or some shit just to keep me on retainer. But like for me, I never had no money like that. I was. Right. I, so know. now so now you're on the show. The show ends or whatever it goes. Yeah. Where do you go from there? I was like really. I was real happy, kind of, because I was just like I was running out of shit to say to strippers, man. Like I didn't have shit else. To say. Like I was because like, you and I know the same producer. Yeah, very good. Yeah, so JJ, we're, we're good friends with JJ. You know JJ and Billy. Oh, I know Billy. But JJ's the other guy, yeah. the the three. He knows him well. Yeah, he was on a show with him. Uh, they picked, did you tell that? Go they ahead. picked me up for that show because uh, the one of the hosts got fired, and because he was like talking shit to the lady, uh, the lady announcer or whatever fuck she is and she's like oh i'm one of the guys he was one of the guys till he fucking treated her like one of the guys yeah. and she got his ass fired and then uh they bring me on and nobody really wanted me there and i just kind of got fired from that shit from, from that show yeah. but jj's show you he got him fired i didn't get jj fired i jj and i were gonna do another thing together Hollywood was so crazy, man. Like everybody is soft no or soft yeses, and everybody's your homie. And uh, like I, I had this manager, he fucked me out of thousands and thousands of dollars. Got uh, me and JJ was supposed to do some shit. He said, "Yeah, yeah, we just need to bring these people on." Then they fire fucking JJ. Like it was. It sounds way too. You gotta it think was too fast. I yo, I was a fucking. I'm like some fucking redneck from outside of Detroit, man. Like I had no, like I was not ready. Yeah. But so I then learned. Then you went to New York. Well, then no, I, no, I went and fucking just rode the bus and washed dishes and worked there. So like, after that, you know, I was a one the show. Caucasian washing dishes in all of Los Angeles. You're looking, <laughs> you're looking at that motherfucker right, right now. Right here. Right. And here. how do you get to serious radio? Because you've been there for 20 years almost. Yeah, right? man. My homeboy, Mikey Eckstein, who I don't even know how I know him, but he's like the dude out in Detroit. He's just kind of fingers in everything. He, he couldn't get his client on. He had a dude that was working with him, and he couldn't get him on Shade 45. And I remember I was I was out, I was on Santa Monica, and it was like when all the trannies was out, or trans, whatever. They was trannies back in the day. It was all the trannies hookers were out there. And I'm like, why? Like I'm taking a break from busting suds, and he's like, man, I can't get my guy on there. Uh, he's like, on what? He's like, Eminem Station. Shade like, 45. And man. I was like, yo, Shade shit, man, get me on there, bro. Like, I'll give you some money if you can get me on there. He got me a, he got me a fucking uh, an email. I came up with some show ideas. And, and you actually, so did you present to them a show, or did they come to you with a show? No, nah, man, I was like, yo, just get this to Paul Rosenberg. Thank you for Who's the that? job. He's Eminem's manager. Okay. And then they were like, they liked it. They were like, we're going to try you out, kid. They so flew me out to New York. And my test run was to, to talk to a bunch of Italian fucking actors. And, and you're talking about guys from The Sopranos. Yeah, and, uh, all the yeah, Big, Big Pussy, Pussy, all those know. dudes, yeah, cha -cha, oh, cool. all these cats. And they're like, we're going to throw you to the wolves. And I was like, bitch, I'm a fucking mutt. Like, throw me in that. Like, it was nothing. <laughs> nothing. So it was lightweight, dog. Like, my Nunu went way hard. Like, yo, there was no fist fights or nothing, man. It was fucking cool. And I just did it. <laughs> And so, then I got a job. And, and, and you killed it, and they hired you right there. Yeah. Wow. And now really you've been grateful. there 20 years almost. Yeah, man. I was just so grateful. I was like. Wow. We were talking about that on the way here, yeah. you know, what we do. And, and it's such a great platform, his and mine. Because right. I got the younger audience, and he's got a little older. Cause oh, his, your, your demographic is a little bit older? Yeah, because, like, nobody young. Young, pay, young kids nobody don't Nobody pays for shit. Like, they're not going to pay for ser serious. Oh, uh, true. But the 40. 35, 40, 45, 50, who have a car and stuff like that. Those guys are his audience. Gotcha. And mine are, so it's like, we have the great demographics together. We were talking about that. And, yeah. it, and, and I go on his show a lot. I'm his resident expert for swinging, right? Was it, was it the swinging thing? Of course you are. That? Of course you are. 
<laughs> all, I, all we saw was pineapples after we talked to you, man. I just oh. saw no, pineapples no, I everywhere. Don't you know them all the time, <laughs> yeah, pineapple, pineapple, what the hell? pineapple. It was like, damn, they're it's a, everywhere. It's a deal, right? He you learned know? a lot too. No, your show blew up. Didn't that show blow up too? Yeah, man. And we we're talking about it. He was that, said swinging couples do really good, and it's, I don't think it's because they swing. I think it's because you have to be good at communication uh, to be able to make that's it. That's a good point. I think that's just. I think. I think communication is the key. Swing is just some byproduct. Yeah. What I wanted to say to True. the youngsters, man, like. I I like work for dirt. I was spiking my shit. I was spiking them shows by a million uh, episodes. You mean back? You mean back in the back day in with the Jenny day, Jones? And I was getting three hundred a whop, and I grinded in like uh, I, I see a lot of these youngsters out here. They think they just they touch their toes down and they show up and they they want to make the big money. They deserve now. something. Listen to me. You don't deserve shit. Grind and go get it. And when you think you're doing it, do some more. Like that's it, bro. Like. And then you made, you made, when, like, uh, uh, when did you, like, you signed, how many contracts, how long is a contract with Sirius? Uh, I don't know, like two years or something. So you've been signing two-year contracts for 10 years. Man, they forgot to sign for a while. And they're like, oh, we haven't signed a contract with you. And they're like, okay, cool. Like, I don't, they, yeah. yeah, they pay well, so you don't care. And you Look, just, man, there's really not a space for me anywhere else. In, in, well, I'd have been, yeah, I just said it's tranny niche. hooker. I'd have been drop kicked off of everything. <laughs> Not like, here. Well, that's what <laughs> I'm saying, here. bro. Like, even now, I had to apologize. That's what they used to say back in the day. Yeah, like, I'm just, there's not a space for me. So, like, Sirius was. And now, uh, does Sirius give you a hard time? Uh, no, man, they leave me alone. I've been grandfathered in, you know? They're like, ah, oh, this old. Yeah. I'm like the old dude. Now, I'm, you were on the Howard Stern guy. show. You, you were on the Howard Stern show. Yeah, I went I, there. I was. I yeah. was you were yeah. a guest on the Howard Stern show. Yeah. I, and I watched that one. Did you watch that one? I have not seen that that's one. That's a great show. He was on the. Yeah, Howard Stern. Big. It was a big show, too. And what what was that like? Gonna be going on his show. I used to want to go. I used to want to go. I don't want to go anymore. But I used to. I used to. Um, Stern came to Michigan like when I was like eighteen or something, and I used to work night shifts at a factory, and I would, and then I would uh, wash windows. So like I'd get done and I'd be washing windows and I'd hear Howard Stern and I'd, I I was doing Jenny Jones at the time and I just would really dream of being on that show. Yeah. And uh, I got I got there like twenty years later, and I was scared. I went and threw up, and I did my grandma thing again. I centered myself, and I went on there and just he killed it. He killed it. He I did just a really great out. show on it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and, enough about me. And now, and did you? Yeah. No, no, no. We're talking about so you're I, here. You're my guest. Uh, and, and and Jude, so you go on the Howard Stern show. You promoted your books, right? Yeah. Just, I just had Hyena come out at the time, and it, it, uh, Hyena was a bestseller. So yeah, what? Well. What? You just had all these thoughts in your head, and you just decided, "Hey, I'm gonna write this. I'm gonna write them down. I'm gonna write a book." No, I just knew how I was. I just knew how I was viewed, uh-huh. and I think I, I like. Look, man, like uh, I know how I'm viewed. What? Well, how do you think you're viewed? Like a like a piece of shit. No, come on. Eddie. Now maybe it's different, but like, yo, man, like I'm some fucking white trash. You know, you know, you, you, you know, like, my, but I know how I'm like, hold on my, my, you know, what my manager said, you know, what's that? you know, my, uh, Sam, my partner with yeah, the I cigars, do, yeah. Sam loves him. He listens to his show now and he goes, Oh, I love that show. You know what he, you know what he says he is, I guess on your, the website or wherever it goes, it says white trash. He oh. goes, that dude ain't no white trash. I go, what do you mean? And he goes, Sam was just, he goes, he's got a great show. He's got good guests. It's a, you know, he, he knows the show now. So right. it's not like. I don't, you're not viewed as white trash. Well, I'm 45 now and I'd never view myself as white trash, but I'm not. You I just said you, you, you thought you were white. No, trash. No, I don't think I'm white trash. I said, I know how I am viewed People or think. how I oh, was. Okay, viewed. Okay, okay, okay. And like, and that's the thing, man. Like, yo, like, yeah, like that's what we were looked at as. Like, but we, so many people say, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a book. And you actually did. Yeah. You know yeah, what? Yeah, I mean, we both did. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I. I'm I'm kind of like Larry is where I said like I I said I'm gonna write a book right and that's my word so I had to write a book like that was it like you I don't say shit out loud unless I'm gonna do it and I just made myself do it and that was my I just I just want to get that's treated admirable. nicer. I mean everyone's like oh, I'll write the great American novel and then they like, Laura you need a soda I got one oh uh, you need a drink. Okay. I'm perfect. Oh, okay, okay. I, I don't got time for people saying they're going to do some shit and don't do it. Like, and just, I liked that it was essays, little blips. Yeah, of your, yeah. you know, I like that too. When I read, yeah. he gives me the book, I mean, he sends me the book, and, and I, you know, I'm a reader. So when I started reading it, I actually started in the middle of the book, yeah. you know, and, and you could do that in that book. 
Yeah. Because it's, it's like you said, it's like a story. Autobiographical. And, and you know, I, I didn't know he did that, obviously. We were hanging out, and, and I said, man, you know, and he's read my book, or he's got my book, and he loved it. He goes, hey, crazy fucking ride. And then I said, man, let me your book. I went, because we were talking, Jude and I, uh, we, I, I remember where I was. I was actually in the RV, and uh, we were just rapping, and you were talking about the TV show. You had a producer or somebody, or somebody you might know that wanted yeah, to do yeah. something with me or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And and we just rapping, and he told uh, it was about his book, because my book is what the uh, interest. I I don't know if anybody. Uh, I was just with Mark Randazzo, you know, and he's down, and he works for a guy. Uh, I won't mention his name on here. These guys worth twenty billion dollars, and uh, he does a lot of uh, movies and funds them, and the guy loves my book. So Mark is telling you know talking about that. We were talking because I I actually had an offer for a book uh, deal for a movie, but they didn't have the money to do it right. You know, I I, I'm, I want to do it right, Laura. You know you know how oh, I, I am. Know, I know. Uh, that, that has to be done right. Yeah. Jude loves my book for a movie. Or he actually says, uh, not a movie. It should be a TV, series. A TV just, series. Yeah, you know, got more. too much. Yeah. You know, too yeah. much. But I want to get back to your books. So you, you, you wrote your first book. Yeah. It, it You go on tour? Do you go on yeah, tour? Yeah, I did a book tour and all that shit. It was, uh, yeah, it was like, I was like, I'll never do that again. And did oh, you? Because really? you know how to, yeah, it's fucking... It's very grinding, man. Dude, it, it, like, just writing the shit is one thing. It, um, Talking about why you hit, wrote it? Hitting the send button, because I, 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 I published it on my own. I was afraid them. Like, I got wild-ass stories, and uh, I've yeah, never been. Same with me. <laughs> Actually, same with me. And we did it. And I got myself in Barnes & Noble and everywhere. So, but yeah. you're right. And you can do it. Because these publishing houses fuck you to begin with. They really do. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they do. Done. But they I, I just, like I was saying, like, just to send it out there was frightening. Like I was like, oh man, people can think I'm a, I'm weak. They're gonna think I'm a bitch. They're gonna think they think or uh, people think I'm awful. You know? Do you or, care what people think? I did. You did. Do you I still? Did. I think we all do to a degree. Yeah, I think we all do. We like to say we don't, but we yeah. all like. I think being accepted is to survive. Hundred percent. You know? Or I, I want to. But to a under- degree, I end up saying, "Go fuck yourself." I'd rather I mean. be. I, I just want to be understood now. You know what I mean? Like you don't gotta like me. I just want to be understood, and that's what I'm more concerned about laura did you read his book no i just read some excerpts, Sex excerpts. what do you think to of get them? ready for today were they wild i mean what do you think of them? oh they're wild yeah. they are wild but I, I, I like but that I that's what back, i liked about them but i they're wild but also they're very um exposing intimate i mean they are they're him yeah so i can see why he would be you know this is laura you're honest. a big reader Honestly. i know that oh, you're, yeah. you're in reading mm-hmm. clubs and all that right and and, and right uh because I, I said, Laura, your, your club needs to read my book. She goes, I don't know if they're ready for it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah go in there. Like, I was telling Cass, I was like, yo, man, if your reading club does it, I'll come and we, right. I, I'll go on Zoom. I'll, we'll have a discussion. I'll talk about the book with y'all. Like, that would be fun. Yeah, that, yeah. It, it, it is, I'm um, trying to think of the right word. It really was honest, just him. Yeah. Well, you know, you're, you're a different no... reader, though, Laura. You, you're a reader who doesn't judge. I know you so well. You really don't judge people. You look deeper into something. You look at me. People could look at me and say, he's fucking hard. He's, a, he's, a, he's you know, and you look deeper into yeah, me but I, in I my own I way. I think I agree with Jude. I really think... I still think I judge. Well, everybody I'm, judges in their I'm, own way. Yeah. But you don't judge in a negative way. Don't look down on people. Put it that way. Maybe right. that's the way Not it at is. first, but maybe you make me later. I don't know. If I, I can't know, make you look down on me. I'm a judge. <laughs> I'm a ju- <laughs> But like, Larry, you wild, but you're not a piece of shit. No. You know what I mean? Like, I trust you. Like, yeah, I, I got man, a I'm good job. with anything. Like, but like, if you're a fucking liar, like, I'm good on you. It, I'm fucking good on you. But This like, Larry that I know now. Yes, absolutely. What? I don't know about the old Larry. I don't know if we would have meshed. Why? Because I was too violent or something. I don't look, know at, you, look at you. You almost spit this bad. I don't know if you were violent. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I was, I was a pretty bad, bad person. But, yeah. You just iron people's chest. That's all, Larry. I did do that. But, you know, he deserved that motherfucker. You know what, though? Like, I can't really, like, yo, man, these two groups of people decide they're going to play this game over here. What the fuck am I going to say, dog? Yeah. Like, you know what it is? I, I often say this, and, 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 and I, I mean this, and I guess maybe it's my own justification. Yeah. I never hurt somebody who wasn't in my business. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like if you were in the mob business, you were in the drug business, you were in robbery business, you had a fucking deal with me, you didn't want to do that. Well, and I will never hurt, I will never hurt an older person or a woman. I, 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 in my whole life, dude, I've never, ever hit a woman in my life. Ever. Well, my ex wife will tell you that. You're sexist, bro. I, I am. How's that? You're a sexist fuck asshole. You, but I, I would hit the you. shit out of a woman because of, no. of equality. No, I don't give a <laughs> 
That's how. That's how, ladies. That's how equal I think you are to me. No. Yes. I ain't hitting a woman. She pokes me in the face. But well, let's. I got all. You know what rights. I tell my woman? What's you that? know what everyone, anyone of my wives. Huh. I told them, listen. I'm gonna do crazy shit. I will never put my hands. If you put your hands on me, I'll treat you like a man. Well, that's. And you didn't want that. Because I don't mean I'm just going to push you away. I will knock the fucking shit out of you. Larry, but here's some now, shit. Now, I, I never, I don't believe in hitting people unless you're going to hit them or hurt them. But like, Because I'm going to hit somebody, I'm going to hurt them. Larry, but like, I, my old man was like that, and I thought I was, I thought I was good because I didn't like hit my, hit my exes or no shit like that. But, um... Why would you hit a woman? I don't think you I have hit a to chick prove. One, I hit no no. I hit her one time. It was it was she smacked the shit out of me because oh was, that's different. I, I, it was all reaction. I was looking at a. It was when PT Cruisers just came out and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? I was like what the fuck is that thing right over there? I was on Jefferson. And I was like, what I, is that? I read I, I rented one of those. What a yeah, piece of it, shit. Yeah, and, the, and my my ex or whatever she was to me, she's like another car full of girls rode up. She's like, what the fuck? And she just smacked the shit out of me. I was like zoning out on the PT Cruiser. And I was like, bitch. And I, I didn't even. No, that, 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 but that. like what I was going to say is like, what, like I thought I was, I thought I was a good dude because I didn't hit, hit my exes or nothing, but I was still so fucking violent because I came up in a violent house and I really had to learn how to curb that because I was like, oh, I'm so good. I'm not. Well, wait a minute. You're saying you're, then what did you do that was violent towards a woman? Like I was just like fucking. I got a fucking temper, man. Like, I go, like, we'd be arguing, I'd be going nuts and shit. Like, I would never do nothing to them, but I would look violent as fuck. I'd be now, hitting I, I have and, crazy eyes, you know. But Nick like, said, yeah. Nick said, he goes, I don't you do that are, anymore, though. You have such sick fucking eyes, I mean, when I get crazy. But I don't, I, I don't consider myself, well, you know, people say, do you consider yourself a violent man? I don't know if I consider myself a violent man. Here's the thing. I, I was, was a violent in the right situations. True. Does that make sense? But, like, I think there's a lot of dudes like me out there that are, like, trying to push against some shit that they saw, that they grew up with. And they're like, all right, I'm not hitting her. Like, bro, it's got to be more than not hitting her. That's all I'm saying. Like, because. I, I, I'm lost. I, I, you got to explain that to me. Violence I'll, I'll to be, me is I'll when be, I take that woman, I knock yeah, the shit like out Yeah, but, like, if you're, if you're, like, a fucking inch away from her face screaming on her and smacking a fucking wall or something, you, you might as well shake the shit out of her, Larry. Like, it's it's kind of, like, it's pretty fucking violent. You're freaking the fucking chick out, bro. And I didn't, like, I saw myself, like, looking back, I had saw myself doing something, something similar to that. And I was like, that was an extreme. But, like, it, I'm still creating a fucking scary, situation. a scary situation, mm -hmm. man. Like, and you I know, just, uh, that's like saying... But I got to push on that. And oh, I'm here, here's why I'm saying. No, I'm, I'm, I wanna I'm here it. because, yeah. you know. You can weigh I, in too. So no, I'm please. I want you to lower it. Because as a guy who did crimes, I don't justify my crimes. You know that, Laura. I never did. No, I know. And I caused harm, but I all those people would say, the other night, last night, oh, but you didn't hurt, hurt people in a robbery. But when you jump a counter and you're in their face, and fucking get out, motherfucker, with a fucking gun in their face. That's that's a trauma. And that's what he's saying. Yeah, I man. get it. That's but what I, I'm saying. I, I do look at that and say, I never fit, like, yeah. I never it's, hurt somebody. It's not as bad as pistol whipping them, but, like, it's not as good as not pistol whipping You know what I mean? It's like, listen, there's a better I way. Think, uh, listen, we're, 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 this is semantics to me because True. I, I'm looking at, at violence. I look at violence because I was around a lot of violence in my life. And I mean violence where people die or people get beaten or broken. I used to lay guys' arms on curbs and snap them. And I know that's not right. But I looked at it, and I never did that to somebody who wasn't in my business. I'd lay their arm on a curb and literally fucking snap and hear the fucking bone snap and like that. Now, that's not right. <laughs> but what, 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 what? I like that. You're taking a stand on that, man. Like that. <laughs> hey, anybody right. listen? Don't do it. Do not. Listeners. Curb stomp someone's arm. Yeah, because it's snap. not right, bro. But, you know, I used to. I, that was my thing. I would lay a guy's arm and snap. <laughs> oh and, and it was like, you want to fuck with, you know. Yeah. And I know it's not right, but I didn't do that to a civilian. Yeah. If that makes sense, Laura. What, Laura, why? Is it wrong? To what? <laughs> not, <laughs> no, it's dope. Well, you, you didn't it's snap wrong. your girlfriend's arm. Well, no, no, it's arm, not wrong. Bro, it's See, awesome. I still don't think it was wrong in my business. I don't think it's wrong either. In my business. Now, so, I think it's wrong to do that to a civilian. I call a civilian whatever it is. Uh, am I wrong? Ahead, Laura. No, well, uh, Laura, you're a, you're a one. Listen, I respect your opinion. I. That's a tough one because... Your you, business was wrong. 
So come on, Laura. <laughs> Laura. It's a circle. Fuck come on. Name, name Thank a, you, Laura. Name a She's good sticking business. up for me. Name a good business, Laura. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. It's like yeah, pe- know. people are getting their arms stomped in every business yeah. just by lawyers and all that shit. Like humans are savage. Savage. So are you like, saying I was savage? Yeah, you're what? fucking sad, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're cra- Yeah, you're fucking savage. I was. You were. You got a touch of it in you, and that's good though, man. Because you can always turn it on. Like some people that don't have it, and then you know, you know, poor, poor, poor Nick. Out. Poor Nick. They thought I was gonna beat him up in the RV the other day. Poor Nick. And he that's would. road rage. He would. <laughs> that was road rage. <laughs> well, he was getting me nervous to drive him, man. The other thing too is there's a relative thing. Like you're so used to like turned up all the way violent. And other people ain't you got you guys you got to kind of like what's the average level of violent and are you matching that yeah. your shit is like fucking like if a scale from one to ten you like up in the fifties you know what I'm saying <laughs> like like I don't know See, just I don't to, look at myself like that and I'm, I protect you if somebody hit Laura I'd fucking break their fucking Larry, head open but like I'm not used I'm not used to jumping on a motherfucker's arm. You are so like your level of violence is higher than mine and way higher, to, way higher than Lori. Yeah, yeah, I, no, yes, but I don't know if it's any more. I, I guess it is because I well, do have that in. But me I think too. what he was saying before, it's not the actual hitting; it's the situation that he created when he was angry. Yes, right. When I, you mean yeah. you're talking about Jude? Yeah, yes. well, yeah, and it's yeah. Like, uh, but it just I, doesn't solve but that anything. Doesn't like I used to tell my girls and my wife. You want to get mad at me? Get mad at me. I remember one time, uh, one of my wives, they threw something at me, but they wouldn't throw it at me. And they broke a curia cabinet with those fucking oh, yeah. precious moments. And I go, eh, fuck, I don't give a fuck. It's your yeah. shit. And I fucking walk out for another three days. And, and that was just the way I lived. Now, yeah. I, th- to me, that wasn't violent because you ain't fucking hitting me. Somebody said, oh, that's vi-. No, violent. Listen, you fucking attack me. You do something to me or somebody I love. That triggers something in me. Somebody could curse you out like a motherfucking shit. And I, I'm not, you know, listen, if the, unless I think they're going to hit you. Yeah, right. yeah, so, then yeah. I'm going to fucking, even, yeah. it doesn't even matter if a woman, you know how I am. No, if I it, if, if it meant, Even a man, if, I, I hate bullies. I think if a person is a bully, I want to fuck them up so bad because I don't like bullies. I wish y'all could see Larry's face after he just said he wasn't violent. <laughs> I want to f- <laughs> fuck I'm up so bad. Yo, Larry, yo, you're a fucking animal. I love, but like you got it under control. That's the best. I, I think I do. Yeah, I know? think you do too, man. But like it's in you. Some of them cats don't got their spark. Like I can't fuck with like regular white chicks because they're not ready, bro. They get scared. Oh, wow. Sam, yeah. come on in. We got another game. We got Sa- Sam. That rude dude, man, dude. Hey, so... Hey, he, sa- sa- hey, oh, oh, they're knocking shit. We got, we're in the house. Sam just come in. You know, sa- Sam is, uh, Sam runs the cigar company with me. Uh, Sam, you want to sit down for a minute, Sam? Sam. Sam, come on, sit down, bro. I didn't, I'm not dressed appropriately. Well, 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 you're you're on camera and you're in here and you're live. So, Sam, I talked to Jude about you. All he knows all about you. So, <laughs> we were talking about violence. Good things or bad things, Jude. Jude don't oh, mess up, bro. He fucks with oh. some tough. Oh, so, yeah, hey, and, and, is, is, that, is that good? But you need a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Look at Jude's got yeah, one on. Laura's got yeah, one don't on. Don't start now. I just met you now. Yeah, oh, fuck. Look at... Hey, yeah. Sam, you on? Let's Sam's hear going to save us from this talk of violence. Yeah, we're talking about violence. And, and they talked about that I have a, a I don't know how we got down this street. rabbit hole. Why did, bum walk, you, why did it bum you out? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, no, well, I, we oh, were talking about okay. Hyena oh, yeah, yeah. and Hummingbird, oh, and then all of a sudden, oh, yeah. we're he's the best selling author. Trail. Sam, but, he's yeah. the best selling author, too. I came in at the right time, huh? You did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, because you're yes, violent, though. too, like me. No, oh. no, no. Don't start that. Here we go. <laughs> I came in just to do some work. At Sam a, was at an event yeah. with me last night. Tell us how you beat that chick, Sam. No, what? You guys are two feet. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> oh, that is funny. You started already? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, of it's course a, we it, did. It's a drink talking. I've been up since yesterday. God damn. He, I flew, love in, this he guy. flew in from Detroit. <laughs> he flew in yeah. from Detroit this morning. His arms are tired. The Motor yeah. City. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I might as well get a drink to this. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Nick, can you give him a drink, please? Uh, What's Nick. happening? Sam, Sam and I went to an event last night, Jude. Uh, great event, wasn't it, Sam? It was actually really, really good. We met some interesting people. Yes, we, we met some interesting people. We had some cigars. We uh, uh, Sam, what do you like? Uh, Nick's right here. What do you um, 
I'll take that Johnny Walker Black. Johnny Walker Black on the rocks, or no, do you want a little, ginger ale? A little ice, just a little bit. little ice. ice, that's all? Yeah, we went to uh, Georgian Tavern, right? Correct. Uh, we went to the Georgian Dragon uh, English Tavern, Tavern and Cigar Shop. Absolutely. They have and our cigars Coco in Village. there. They have that's our cigars awesome. there. Nice. And, and I'm uh, smoking one right now. This Sam, do, do, do you know what they call us on the road? You guys get what they call y'all. Tell them, Sam, what they call us. Batman and Robin. They whoa, call, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's Batman? Who's Robin? I'm Batman. That's a tough he's one. Robin, but he's going to pay. Really? Him. We're going to get his dog. He's not Robin. <laughs> you <laughs> no. always robbing shit. Like, that's what you're known for. you yeah, known for Robin. I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, you know. off the chain, man. T- tell him, Sam. Sam goes, we're going to get two dogs, but I'm painting Robin black. <laughs> I got to paint his face, homie. What do you think? I'm with it. <laughs> Dude, I told you this would be a fun show, man. Dude, you've been up for days? Yes. <laughs> I, love I was going to go to bed, but they gave me first class, and I stayed up for the charcuterie. They put him plate. in first class. says, I'm too cheap. I'm going to drink this thing the whole way. Yeah, God man. Damn. I had breakfast and all that shit, man. <laughs> I literally <laughs> stayed up just for some cheddar cheese, man. That was ridiculous, man. Like, yo. Sam, is this great? So, Sam. With- Laura, you're in trouble, young lady. You're no, in trouble no. today. She's been in trouble, man. She's like, <laughs> she's, she, thank she's you. Still I'm, tr- only- I'm trying to rein these guys in. That's why wrote, I, some, some just this, told me to show up. He wrote these great books with little essays about his life. And yeah, man. All of a sudden, we're talking about violence. No, and- I was talking about like what it is. Like It was just trying to... like. What we what we think is what we think is right because of how we're raised. Yes. And then when you think you chill out and you look compared to everybody else, you're like, oh. And Jude said, I have, right. I have scary eyes. What? He said, No, you was good. And then he was like, Someone fucks with any of my. And I was like, oh, Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with this. I wasn't planning on it, but like, yeah, I, Sam, I went back to the old days. Wait, wait. So I know why you two are really good friends. Yeah. I can see it already. What two fuck ups? Yeah. I ain't said that one. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to talk about violence in the house anymore. This no, we're, Sam's here. We're past Sam, that. Sam, yeah, Sam's yeah, part yeah, of yeah. the violent team. Yeah. Sam's Aren't you, Sam? No, wow. I, I keep keep the straight and Well, he actually keeps me pretty good, Laura. I try. Laura, we were at an event. Shoot, I and, try. And good we were luck. at an event, and I'd say, fuck, tell him to go fuck himself. At you. And he goes, Larry, Sam, Larry. Sam, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> He goes, I got you. I got you, Larry. He, he calms me. Down. You got a guy like that? I'm sure you need one. Nah, man. I'm actually pretty fucking chill because I can't fight. So, like, <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm but pretty hey, fucking. Hold like, up, but you I, got them goons. Yeah. yeah you yeah. got them goons. I already know. Yeah. yeah well, even <laughs> like, it was, man, I was, I was at a point where it was like beyond the goons. It was like. Train motherfucker, oh, like okay, oh, bring you bring the boy, goons. Oh, Someone's boy. gonna. I just know a few goons. Up. Oh, you know. I moved away. away from that. Yeah, man, same. I just bro. know a few. Oh, you know a few. I try to stay away though. I love, I love them, but like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. we gotta, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, we man. need them. We need them every now and then, but not often. Sam's got know. Sam's got these bodyguards. Uh, 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 I'm trying to get Laura. some dentists and I, shit you know, like, I like that. that Jude knows his limits. You know. Know uh, thyself. Like, oh, I do too. Exactly. Right. He's like, you know, I'm not gonna fight. Yeah, man. Because I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm really not good. The I'm not good at fighting. I haven't fought in a long. T- the last <laughs> time I, I fought a He's Mexican Detroit. tweaker in my bedroom. <laughs> Oh, you told me that. Yeah, I woke up story. to it, dude. And it was funny. I was like, man, do I still, like, you know, like, you ever, you've been out here a while, right? And Born like, and raised, my man. So, or like, you've been in a nice part. And I'm like, shit, man, I haven't been tested in fucking forever. Like, yeah, I wonder I, what. I had to move away yeah, from there, man. Tell them what happens. Go ahead. I wonder what I'm made of. And, you know, because it's been so long. And then I wake up to a fucking Mexican tweaker dude in my bedroom. <laughs> this, is, this is the truth. So, so I just went caveman. So I'm so proud of that. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> Caveman. Yeah, I'm like, ah, you motherfucker. Like, my dad's accent came out. Like, you son of a bitch, you motherfucker. And I just took him and I bashed his head on every fucking hard thing possible. I love that. Bing, bing. Jude, you need me in your life too a little bit. (laughs) Man, just don't wake me up, man. I was just like, yo, what the fuck? What is this shit? You know? I guess. But hey, listen, we got guys. I just wanted to deliver your coffee or something. Yeah, we got (laughs) No, no, no. He he tried to rob his house. Yeah, I know. I just. And you know, the crazy shit was I had pinned a dollar up on the wall because it was like a silver dollar, you know, worth uh, silver. And that's what trailed him into my room like he's like his tweaker energy was like, oh a dollar and then he just went into my room he could have went to my sister's room he could have got all the computers and you just went fucking crazy i didn't think about it until okay so I was like how long him. ago was this this was when, when i was in la probably like seven fuck seven eight years ago so he was on he was on serious it needs yeah. to happen again it's been I, seven eight years no, I'm you know, good, we i can set that up for you heart, <laughs> you heart, test him again the heart's there the technique is awful <laughs> I 
was swinging like an orangutan, man. It was fucking like you I'm like, like envisioning dude like fuck it, this you know where great. you're supposed to punch somebody. There was no cuts there. It was just on the top of my hands. Like I don't even know what the fuck I was flaccid, doing. I was like, ah. Oh fuck my oh, fuck. This Sam, is you show. walked into a fucking show. I know, I know. I came in to get a few things, but I'm here. So I don't well, think he you're came in. Done, he, Sam. Uh, he's usually here. We got the weekend. He's doing the. Uh, people don't know. We're gonna let him know it now. He's doing the uh, the fucking cooking show with me. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, You done did some time Robert too, Jude? Kitchen. No, yes, he did. He's got his jumpsuit right now. Look at his jumpsuit. <laughs> Nick is fixing it. Honestly, yeah, he's got an orange jumpsuit. Don't do me. it, Nick. Okay. I feel like I'm purping, man. Don't like, do I feel it. Like, I feel like, like stolen valor. Like, you know, like, like, I got my little Vietnam beret on and shit and never oh seen God. nothing, man. But, like, yeah, I'm going to dress you up. You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to get two of them suits one time, and I'm going to put one on and you're going to put one No, we one got one. I got two. Halloween. No, I got two. Right only, here. only Halloween. Yeah, I'm not I wearing them. Halloween is. You ain't wearing no, you know what? I actually wore it. I wore those. it too long. I really wore it. I'm not wearing it anymore. No. Larry's, Larry's Halloween costumes tend to be a little risque. Yeah, mine always have the dick flying yeah, out. Usually, Something happened. It just, yeah, it just, you, you one of those excuses. Laura's one of my friends who actually goes, all you know, I've seen place. your dick too much and we, we're not intimate. Oh, yeah, all over the place. My mother in law, everybody's here. <laughs> That's why I stopped doing threesomes, man. I just like I've like seen way too many of my homeboys' dicks, and I don't even see no new okay, no new dicks, the bro. That I read, yeah, Sam. No new why dicks. you stopped You're in a doing good show. threesomes? Oh, I, read I don't that. know. I don't it's know. It's a lot, man. It's just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was like, hey, hey, you, oh, hold on, on the real. Now we got the audience here. You, did you like the threesomes? Yeah, and it, it, it's gonna it's gonna boggle people, but like I prefer to. Two dudes on one chick because I do too because it's just too much. No, you know why? Here's why. Zone out. There's no way. He's got three books. Three books. Three books. Yeah, yeah. No, this is the truth. Uh, What you said is true. I prefer two dudes and a girl. Here's why. I know I can't. I can't handle fucking two broads, and I've tried. And I'm I'm not coordinated enough for that shit. No, not coordinated. You you know, listen. A woman doesn't need to do. What I liked was Jude's honesty. It was it was exhausting. He had to figure out what the two. He couldn't do both women. Laura, in the book, you read that part. I read that part in his book. It was great. Never mind. Yeah. Anyway. See, well, I'll let him tell it. Go ahead, oh, tell you it. Tell it. <laughs> uh, Lori, tell it. Okay, I you tell it. Laura, tell it. You tell it. I want a woman to tell it. Yeah. It was exhausting having two women. So if you had the two men, the woman was in between them, and then the, you know they could each do their thing. And that's we just right. don't look at each you other. You didn't have to worry. <laughs> yeah. But well, that's true. That's not true. But. Uh, <laughs> But like I don't like, hey, it's just the one that depends on who. Like, yeah. it's like, bro, don't fucking wink at me like we're doing something. Like, hey, right? Am I right, guy? I'm like, that's yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, he's winking yeah. at him. Well, yeah, never mind. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm just. But that's the kind of things in his book that were just so honest because he, he has what, his what best guy self. says I would prefer a man and a woman. Well, I do. Book, yeah. Well, you know what? No, those, just, those, you know, you know me, Laura. Books, <laughs> they sell. You know what I mean? Just like with Larry. You know what I mean? He's always yeah. talking about you, and I already knew you guys had to be two peas and. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, man, we get along pretty damn well. <laughs> I can see it. Like, you made been up for two days. You said, "Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm." No, I slept last night really good. Not you, him. No, no. Not I knew he was coming. Not for two. That's why I fucking slept because I know I won't sleep for the next two days. I was out of, I was out of prepared for that shit. <laughs> I drove home from Chicago and just was like, well, fuck it, I'm here. And then I just went and went and then flew down here. And, and, nice. and, and he's at some show. He's been, we were just talking about his show earlier. Be, to, on, how, yeah. 20 years, right? Yeah. Is it 20 years? Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn wow. near. Serious 20 years. All man. I know That's is pretty like, strong. They better not. Sam, man. I was telling him how you listen. They call him White Trash. Sam goes, yeah, fuck it, right, Sam. Got him right. <laughs> A.K.A. White Trash. Yeah. He, we talked house. about that. Yeah. This guy is so far from White Trash. Well, he uh, said... That's how he's perceived. Yeah, yeah or a wigger or white trash or some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> you got to love it. Man. You get, oh, you know what? Keep it 100, right? I mean, that's hey, what Sam, I was called over and over again. That is exactly right, right. why we, lo- you know, we connect because they we call both me can- Uncle Tom sometimes, but it don't bother me. No, I don't, like, <laughs> no they I, don't. I've heard it in the hood. Bro, it's just like. When I go back to the hood. Shit. It should, like, really? It's like, yeah, just because it's, we we got to go together to the hood. Yeah, it's all right. You know it's that. just it's, like know thyself, shit. Like it's like I don't adopt that, but like I know what people are saying. Absolutely. I know how, yeah. no and when you know how people think of you, you know how to act. Like a lot of people, they think I'm dumb, so I just play the role. Yeah, I'm like I'm the yeah, joker. You're not dumb. Bro. You're far I'm from dumb. Say I'm the joker. The, uh, he's far Larry. from dumb. That's for I sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yo, listen, we talk business. 
and, and we do it a lot at nights and stuff, and we come up with some shit. I'm not, you heard us, Sam. You know, I always Absolutely. tell you, yeah, hey, yeah. wow, we just Did come you hear up about with that shit. time machine we was planning? <laughs> he ain't the tell what? me about that. Fucking one. really cool, the man. What? You know what Nick said? He goes, I think, Larry, you're going to relapse. I said, what are you talking about? He goes, you just went by a jewelry store and you looked at it. No, what the fuck? He, he ain't going to do that, Nick. Don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> Larry, if you do, I, I need a Mariner link. That's all. <laughs> come on, Chewy. Come on, we ain't going I'm that not route. Saying, don't do it, but <laughs> I need I need some weight. We ain't going I need that. trifecta <laughs> for the wrist. You know what I'm saying? Right there, yeah. yeah. What is wrong with I'm you people? in the house. What is wrong don't with do you it, people? Don't do it, no, though. Don't do it, but. Do I not. Like that. But. but. See what, Nick? You see where you started? If. If it. So happens. So, <laughs> so if I come up to you at a mariner, you know what time it is. Yeah, yeah, if you're like wolf and I'm like, oh shit, it's like an anchor on my wrist. I'm like, you shouldn't have done that, but <laughs> but I'm gonna hold this just in case so you can remember that you how shouldn't long, have done wait, that, Larry. How long have you guys known each other? How did you meet? Shit, I don't know. How I, long is it? I don't Five, know. six, yeah, seven, man. Years. Yeah, like I, I well, was, how did you meet? I want to well, know. That. I was, Tell him. I was going through withdrawals from ketamine. At, this is true. Listen, and I was just watching YouTube shit, uh, like just having a real bad time watching YouTube shit. And Larry came up, and I watched a bunch of his shit, and then I reached out to him. Was like, was. Can you want to come on the show? Shit. That's yeah. the first thing we yeah, did. He came on the show, and then we just been. Cool and up. now, like I, I told you, I'm, I, I go on the show all the time. He's here. He comes to mind. We did it. We did a couple collaborations too. We did a, uh, 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 what was that? What we did? A, ask me anything or something yeah, like yeah, that. Ask me anything. Yeah, <laughs> and a, area, yeah, yeah, and ask me anything. We did that, and then uh, I was, I was uh, I'm an expert on his show for swinging. Okay. Yeah. Look at Sam. <laughs> Fucking okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, it was a great show. I got this new attitude about swinging. I think, like, ladies, if you're just trying to have sex, I think y'all should go to swinging clubs because everyone, like... He learned a lot. Did yeah, you learn I a feel, lot from yeah, that show? Yeah, I feel like they trim their pubic hairs and shit like that. Like, they they tighten it up. They wear something nice. Trying to get right. Yeah, you got your... Seriously, you're, dude, you're on, on the series. Tax bracket. I'm dead ass. Did, I'm no, like, I'm saying dead ass serious. Did you learn something on that show what we were on? Yeah, I, I told you I was really thinking about it. Like, even uh, they said that swingers do really well in, uh, in the future without divorce, but... Yeah, they have a lower divorce rate. I don't than, think it, it's people. not. I don't think it's, it's true. Swing, it's not swinging that does it. It's what it is. It's you need good communication to be able to right. swing. So therefore, if you have good communication, that is going to show a good uh, a good marriage. The swinging shit is just, I guess, strange pussy or something like. Dick or I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's okay. okay. No, no. Right. What well, did the show I did with him? We had a lot of call-ins and yeah, people, yeah, everybody's into and, 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 everybody's and, and, and I wasn't saying nasty stuff, right, dude? I, I mean, I was literally giving the... Listen, it's okay that Laura's here. You ain't got to No, no if Laura like, knows you, you think fucking Laura don't know me? I fucking Laura knows me pretty well. like a thousand times on Halloween. Halloween <laughs> 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 only. And that was like three years. That was it. <laughs> That's in three years? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I just... But go ahead. No, the show... Listen, when we did the show, he calls me up. He says, hey, lad, he goes, would you come on and do... Oh, John called me, I think it was. And then you One yelled at John because yeah. he fucked up the damn... Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Somebody shit. had called me up and like, uh, I do a... Uh, what is it? You, he I, listens I give to it, your show. I give advice and somebody, somebody's girlfriend was like bisexual and... Uh, was wanted to bring in a lesbian. I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's talk. I was like, let's ask Larry. She's about to fucking. <laughs> let's, let's ask Larry. Let's ask Larry. Like, don't let like a little, some new pussy fucking snatch your fucking love because <laughs> she's not with it, you know? She's going to be out there. Part eating, time. Eating huh? her pussy with some Tim's on and shit. Like, that's not the one. So I was like, talk to Larry. And then Larry came talk up. Talk to Larry. All right. And, and, and we I killed like it. it. And we yeah. killed it. We had a lot of call-ins and a lot of people calling. I bet said, you did. <laughs> you had an interesting topic. Very interesting topic. <laughs> but we've had other experts, and they just not, they just don't know how to talk about it. Larry was really good at it. Yeah, I was surprised. No filter whatsoever. Yeah, no, man. no, no. But I didn't even like explain. Like I did. Like I never. Been, I don't like to pee in front of people. You know what I mean? Like let alone swinging. Like I don't want someone to look at. Me. If I get naked, I look like uh, the king of the hill, dude. You know okay. what I mean? <laughs> Okay. Like, I don't want anyway. King of the hill. Yeah, man, like, I, yeah, I lost that goes, all. That yeah. goes back to what we were talking about earlier, what other people think of you. Yeah, well, you know, I would yeah. feel weird yeah. if having somebody look at my ass. Right. Like, it looks like the Holocaust. I, it's I've just had four like kids. Mad I don't fucking, want anyone to look yeah. at me. So I just, uh No, I, I, I see, but so, I don't look at it like that. I don't look at 
I don't. Because you do squats. No, I don't. I have okay. no ass. All trust right. me on that. Did you Laura see him with the tell handstand? You that. <laughs> Did you Laura. see him do the handstand? <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh my god, god. I, that was hilarious. Listen, we know that? I got a bad no. body. We don't have to go there now. We don't have. We have so to you don't go mind, there. You don't mind that? That's cool with you. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, I'd be like, oh, I'm a monster. Don't look at me. Like, no, you I know just, what it is. I am what I, I am. Making this like too late, big. No, no, lady. you know what it is, dude. Yeah. I am who I am. Yes. I. It is what it is. Yeah. I. I'm at that point in my life that I. Listen, people who know me know me. People who don't can surmise whatever they want. And, you know, I don't, I never ever was worried about like your, your perception. Listen, Laura knows me when I was 267, and, and I didn't give a shit, did I, Laura? No. And even at 210, it, I feel better. Don't get me wrong. I think I can see my dick better and all that kind of shit. <laughs> okay. But, but my point is. I mean, yeah, it's no, a plus. No, it is a plus. <laughs> for Larry, it is. Oh. <laughs> Shit, probably for the girls and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking head just bop. They're, they're trying to deep throat you. They just can't. They're like, bop. Oh, the head in the, the belly. Fat. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. That was happening to me. I got yeah. sad. I was like, they were like, dick dies. I was wrong. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And then I go eat my feelings some more. Like it's a fucking vicious cycle. It wow, is, this is just, yeah. And you know, it, no, I just I look at everything I do. I enjoy what I do. Yeah. And I don't care what sure. it is. And you know that. Even Honor yesterday, me. we had a great time Absolutely. with people. We're talking a lot of people yesterday. We had this event. I want to thank Debbie? Thank you, Debbie. De- Debbie was that great That's people. One of, owners, we are, sure. one of the owners of the place. She put the show together. She it it was together. a really nice event. Sam put and Sam does it right. I mean, he, yeah. you know, I get there. And He's first, late, like no, always. Bullshit, bullshit. To I told there. you I'd be there at six thirty. What time is he supposed to be there? Six thirty. What time he show up at? Six thirty. I told you. Thirty-three. Actually, it's a good look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We you, know. You don't want to be the first guy there. Like, hey, how you doing? Number one. Thank you, dude. Number two. I told him what time I'd be there. Six thirty. You're late, but it's all good. You but it was all set up. We were right. We were on point. I he went point. like rapper late. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he was right on time. Like yeah. Yeah. Actually, like you got three a point hours. Like, they're like, is Thank he coming? You, or <laughs> See, Jude, you know. You weren't Lauren Hill. <laughs> <laughs> or a little way. Yeah, bro. Supposed to be there at 12, show up at uh, next 1.45. Day. The next day. <laughs> Dude, uh, I didn't know. Performed for 15 minutes and out of there. <laughs> I didn't know about island time down in Miami, and I had a book reading, and I rolled up, and there was one person there, and I, I just went and sat in the park real sad. I was like, oh, shit, no one's coming. But everybody's late down in Miami. Miami, sure. So, and, yeah, and it depends on where you're at, too. In well, listen, it was. I told Sam, we, we said it, I'd be there about 6.30. For sure. And... Which we were, Nick had. But you know day. what, though? Let me give you props. He stayed the whole whole event. Most of the time, like when we do our events, I tell, you know, the business owner, we're going to be there, and we're not just going to be there for two hours and dip. You know what no, I mean? No. Like, I was there all the way to 10 want, o'clock. And he man. talks to the people. You spoke to gets, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Oh, bullshit. Cool. I had to almost cut him off. We were supposed to be there from 6 to 10. It got to like 10, 15. Oh, yeah, Larry, He's still Larry sitting at the table stories. drinking. Get him started. They but, love the stories, yeah. Laura. But no, you know, for sure. They love it. You know what I mean? But he, he gave them what they what, yeah. what they asked for, what yeah. they deserve. And you know, Sam, like he, he said, we call us Batman and Rob. We are. Yeah. Because he really does uh, understand me more than anything. I think that's what it is. And he knows where I'm good at, and he knows the stories and whatever it is. And he puts me right in front of the person that wants to hear whatever it's going to hear. And then I go off. That and sounds more like Batman than Robin. Hell, well, I got to be fucking Batman. I got to be Batman. I don't know. I wear the He tights. got a cape. <laughs> I'm gonna let him be Batman. You oh, know, uh, I'm, roll, I'm, roll, yeah. I'm rolling with Robin. The, the original Robin had a giant penis. <laughs> oh, I'm, so giant, they, yeah, I'm they, Robin. They, I'm Robin. They, they had to tape it up and shit. Like, there was a whole thing about it. There you go. Is that that true? Tape it yeah, up. Swear, swear to God. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Look it up, man. Yeah. Old boy. <laughs> with the, oh, he's the old boy. Uh, from the Maybe 60s. I'm Robin. Oh, with, yeah. the, <laughs> with the pow wow. That one with the pow. Yeah, wow, yeah. The old Robin. Shit. Yeah. It was like a lot for a family. The, no, shit, for, for like, the shit that I used to grow up on. Rated R, huh? Rated R. The, the yeah. old shit we all grew up. I grew up on, obviously, was the old Batman. I used to come home from school and watch them at, yeah. at 4 o'clock in black and white, actually, at that right. time. Damn, and, and, and the 60s. And uh, it was like 69, 68, 69. And you'd watch it. I remember my father would sit in a chair. And I remember the first remote control. You know what it was? Smack me in the head and tell me to change yeah. the channel. That's the remote control. Yeah, go do that. <laughs> go do that. No, no. Put it on four. That's a remote control. Me. Hell yeah. <laughs> then they had the wire that came from the TV right to the person in the, in the chair. So my father like- would go to sleep in the chair, and I'd try to change the channel. 
He goes, I'm resting my eyes. That don't turn your channel. Is that just like the famous line of every fucking, everybody's father or grandparent? Yeah. No, it's true. You know, back in those days, it was like, you know, your dad, listen, we couldn't leave the table unless your father told you we could leave the table. Absolutely. You know, I think we need more of that. Well, you know, I think we lost a little of that. I think we lost, but I think, you know, my, my I was very close to my dad, very close to my dad. Yeah. And my dad, when my dad, pet, my dad, ne I remember getting arrested for shooting up a car here. And uh, when my dad picked me up at the jail right here in Melbourne, in, in, in uh, on Neiman Avenue, back in the courthouse, yeah. Neiman Avenue, you know, he picked me up before my, my mother too was with him. They didn't say to me, what did you do? They just picked, you know what my father did? He goes, he gave me, started giving me sports trivia questions. He goes, you know who won the World Series in this? I, I'm like, I'm to not one script. fucking thing about what I did. Because he oh, knows man. I knew what, I was I was about 30, okay, yeah. 30, you know, whatever. He there knew I knew say. I was wrong. <laughs> that was when I shot up Joe's parking lot. You remember Joe oh, yeah, used to yeah. talk about it? Mm -hmm. And uh, I just was like, yeah, what are you going to say? He's, who's Ty Cobb? Tell me. <laughs> exactly, hey, yeah. right, right. What are you going to do? You're 30, quit fucking. Yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, Larry. <laughs> Stop shooting up car. What the fuck? Are you tired of all these things burning. Larry, <laughs> like, fucking dying. Like, like, I already yeah. burned pizzerias. Yeah, just, I already yeah. fucking burned down a police. Well, a police station I threw over. Yeah, there's really another business. Yeah, it wasn't shit. He could have. I was. Uh, I was. Uh, but I was never violent. <laughs> <laughs> look at them. Look at each other. No, I, I was a little bit bad violent. But I don't think arson is violent. Is it? Is it considered a violent crime? Ah oh, man, it's just. Well, who knows, man? It's more like, like a passive aggressive crime. <laughs> yeah, that's what T Boz does or something like. Well, I think that was her deal. She burned, she burned down people's house. Yeah, she burned Andre Rise's house. She burned shit her, her yeah. boyfriend's house. Oh, I, Andre Rise's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh -oh. you did it for the right reasons. Oh, I did. Not for not out yes, of anger. Yes, the motherfucker tried to fuck me over. Oh, I that. thought you did it for other insurance things. Money. Yeah, I thought you did it for insurance. Well, I, I tried the, the pizzeria. Hey, with but, that but, but at the end of the and day, I never got paid. he's done his time for all that, so we're yeah. gonna right. So he can talk about it. See, no, 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 no. I, my my statue just... limitation. Everything I talk about, statue limitations. Absolutely. Is up. Absolutely. That's why I'm like. Hey, that's why we got Jason. Jason Downs. Yes, Jason Downs is our attorney. Absolutely. He's my criminal we defense attorney. Well, I have you on see speed him on the dial. news. He was just on the yes, news the I other did. day. He, I got him on speed dial. Shout out, Jason. Jason. He's great. He's he's actually gonna be our attorney. Who's speaking? He's a criminal defense attorney. Deals with youth and everything. He's going to be one of our attorneys at the uh, event. That Laura, that Laura. Laura is the logistics on that seminar. event. A parenting right. seminar. Parenting in seminar. August. Yes, in August. Yeah, at the, uh, August nineteenth and twentieth. It's going to be at the Rosen Center in Orlando. She's telling me what she has to do. It's a lot. And we're, uh, we're coming on. W Laura wants to come on your show, Jude. Can she do that? No, I don't. I'm good. <laughs> you see how I didn't answer because I I was waiting. I was Wait, waiting. What is it? I was waiting I, for her to be like, I nah. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure my niche on his show. Yeah. I get a great niche on He that. probably keeps it real just oh, like Larry. Listen, he this really is does, diet Sam. Jude. This Absolutely. is diet Jude wait, wait. right now. So. He so, really yeah. keeps it real. So, you should see him on that show. He if keeps I say, it real. So Larry comes into the uh, event the other day, yeah. last night. He don't have a college shirt on. So I said, Larry, where's your college shirt? He looks at me like I'm crazy. So I can imagine if I asked Jude, hey, where's your college shirt? Oh, no. He'd be like, yeah, what Sam, the fuck? No, no Sam actually, just gave I got a touch a of class. Shirt. I got a touch of class. I dress appropriately, and I think it's ridiculous when, like, people show up at a steak house with a fucking hat on or something. Like, have some fucking class, dog. <laughs> okay, dog. Yeah. Oh, so so right. I was wrong yesterday? Yeah, you're dead wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, fucking have some dignity, bro. Say it again. Have some fucking <laughs> dignity. Dress appropriately. I like Jude. I yeah, did man. dress. I had well, this I shirt on. You're the entertainer, so you can get away with it. But like, yo, <laughs> come on, man. No, don't, yeah. don't show up when you're not Nick getting had paid his college like shirt. <laughs> Say it again. Oh, did Nick. you make him change? Thank yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. If Thank people you. if people didn't know their your Thank hustle, you. they would have thought you just gave you up on life. Keep those khaki pants. Actually, this is true. Hey, Jude. Yes, sir, we were on the way to the event. So he Nick, loves Nick, his basketball So shorts. Nick says to me, he goes, Nick goes, Larry, change. And what the fuck are you talking about? That he goes, boy, Nick. He goes, I, me and he, Nick spoke before. He goes to me, he goes, Larry, you can't go into an event with fucking basketball shorts. Probably, he probably have no underwear on underneath. Either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the movement. I did. I did. I did. For the fucking movement. Hey, what's up, ladies? Hey. <laughs> Yo, that, yo, that's hey, hey, that's the secret weapon. Yo, uh, have a girl come through with the with the fucking jogs on and for the yeah, movement. But you guys don't know Larry has no underwear Fridays. Uh, no, it used to be we used to have, we used to do no underwear date night. 
Remember that? Oh, got it. Yeah. But well, Nick, well, good job, sir. Thank, thank you, Nick. You, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate it. No, Thank what Nick did was, this is the truth. Nick says to me, he goes, Larry, the, all, all the clothes is in there. Go change. Yes. Get your clothes on. Get, I did, to be honest, I looked for a white shirt, and I left it at home. <laughs> yeah, you see, need that collared see, shirt that Sam meant, got. It meant that much to him. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, he did a great job. Dude. We got to give him fucking... props, though. We got to no. give him. Yeah, I came and I job. killed it. Look, bro. I killed it. No, Sam? No, you did. I, I, gotta give, I give you props when props are due. Larry, as an entertainer, <laughs> that's Sam. awesome. But, like, if you showed up in my cigar bar that's, like, a nice cigar bar, dress, walk, dress like that, you better be real cool with me, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or I'll be Spalding back. basketball yeah, man, shorts. Like, if I go somewhere, I got it's I got it's a nice place, and I got to look at some fucking asshole dressed like shit. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Say it again. I'm not saying it's you. I'm just thinking, Damn, hey, you dude. Know, you I don't care how much your baseball is. cap is, bro. Like, I don't fuck. I don't care what if those are off whites or whatever the fuck you call them, man. Put on some goddamn hard okay. bottoms and be like, be. Ugh. Have some dignity. I'm not, no. Laura, I'm getting fucking you ripped are. apart over here. Because hey, was, listen, yo, I you know this I, event. You know the street code, man. Okay. And yeah, Sam, man. you're in this wonderful picture with Sam and all the Oliva guys. Now you're in your shorts. But they were dress shorts. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. They were. They didn't even have a belt on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> they were the home, the home basketball shorts. <laughs> they were for the fucking home. They were for uh, the tournament shorts. Yeah, Sam is right. We, Sam and I go down to the event. I go. Oh my Fuck, god! I lost weight, and I couldn't fucking fit in my slacks. They were falling off my thing, and I forgot a belt. But I had a suitcase full of shit in case he needed it. And Sam he didn't go, even want it. No, no. <laughs> Sam goes, "Oh shit!" I go, "Fuck! I gotta put shorts." So I went into the event. Not event, the meeting with yeah, the cigar. They were all, I introduced, that meeting, I introduced Sam to the uh, uh, executives at uh, uh, Leva. I mean, the CEO, the COO, Fidel, all, people, right. Fidel, all of them, man. Corey. Good people. Larry, Absolutely. I would play it perfect. The, the way you're doing it is perfect. But, like, when you off the clock and you go somewhere nice. Represent a little. Yeah. Try. What, you don't think try. I said just try. Fucking, just fucking try. You, know? you, you fucking do. You fuck. You don't think I do? I, I bet you do. I'm sure you do. Come on. Sam? I don't know about the drive <laughs> Damn, like, I'm getting fucked. Yo, Laura, am I that bad? Be honest. Be honest, Laura. Bro. He don't Laura, get it. He I'm don't get it. I'm going to plead the fifth. But I will say what? that your brain just doesn't, it's too busy. So we have to throw those khaki pants at you. Yo, yeah, yeah like when I flew in today, you think I wore these fucking jogging shorts? No, I know you didn't. With the movement? No, nah, man, I fucking, I wore a button <laughs> down. Like I wore, yeah, I wore, he was in I first wore, class. Yeah, what right. the fuck? I didn't know that That's shit. I just showed up. I was like, hey, yeah, they wouldn't have put you want some in cheese? Class. I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, I'll be up here. Send it in. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking pissing me off. Fucking love people fucking. got their bare feet up on shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Fucking animals. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, hey, Larry, Yo, you man. listen to the Jew? He knows the street code, okay? He does, oh, he. Yeah. Oh, that's why we get he click. Does. So, look, don't look, look at me with those right. mean we eyes, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I got the crazy eyes, too. It's yeah, fucking, fucking crazy eyes. a real eye. bummer. You fuck. <laughs> Like, bums want to fight me all the time. I don't like, like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot. I just looked at them. Like, I just got this. I got a fucked up look. <laughs> like a fucking. You know, yeah. you're sitting here thinking I would go to an event and not dress right. Yes. No, how you dress right now is perfect for your event. That's what man. I did. You're a fucking. In fact, you're I'm a... in the same clothes. <laughs> Hold on. Yo, but let's be real, man. He would look ridiculous if he came in to go talk to the cigar people with a fucking suit on and shit. Like, no, we hey, can't go that yeah, We can't go that Hello, far. fellas. We hey, I've come to talk we to you can't. about cigars. Who likes cigars? Uh, Raise a hand. He's but, right. right. Black right? and Miles or Swishers. Listen, Let me hear you. his voice. But he cannot wear the Spalding basketball Those shorts, shorts. No. from 86. No. But he kind of has to because like, he's got to blow these dudes' minds. He does that That's what already. I'm saying. Like, it's, okay. a, it's a whole thing. They're there like, you go. Now like, that's the Jude like, I know. That's nah. the Jude I know. Yo, I said it the whole time. I'm just saying, like, let's not go get steak and have you dressed like that. Okay, say it again. Yeah. But you're right, Jude. You're 100% right. Sam, They're gonna be do like, I, did I ever so disappoint real. you at an event? No, but I well, can tell, like, you like to just roll with the punches sometimes. You know, you have never. You, you go in and do your thing, but you are Larry. You and are I do it in a good big way. No, you do. 
But we definitely got to clean you up a little bit. Put a scrub brush on you every now and then. Sam. What's the thing? How can you do that? That that takes it away from who I but am. But a little. I said a little. I didn't say fully. We ain't hey. trying to put you in a monkey suit just, like Jack. Right, 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 right. You just, said, put me in a monkey suit. I no, look like no, an idiot. All right, no. so like maybe some days it's dress up like it's uh, visit, wait, wait. Vitter, visitor day. I got a question. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like iron the dickies real. Have them creases be extra oh, crispy and shit. <laughs> Buff them fucking shoes extra white. Show up with the fucking okay. cholo yeah, stance yeah. on them caps. How come you know so much about that? Yeah, <laughs> right, wait a minute, Sam. You know too much about that. It, Laura, I want to ask a woman's opinion. <laughs> yeah. Laura, yeah. you know me for 15 years almost, yeah, yeah. 12 years, whatever yeah. it is. Question. Yeah. Do you think I, I, I do it right or not? A woman's perspective. I, I do think you do it right, but probably Sam is correct and we need your pants to stay on. So if they're too big, maybe just get another pair of pants. Oh, I, I do got to get new pants. Okay. Yeah. Nick, put that on the list. Nick, put that on the list. I do got, because I lost weight, you know, Laura. We yeah, everybody. which is a good yeah. thing, but we still, you know. I get the cool ones now. Don't come up with some Z Cavaricis. <laughs> The fuck? You guys got me all fucked up. He's like, hey, I was, I was, I was, I was that was the shit, right? Yeah, that was the one. Like, hey, nah, he, he ain't figured it out yet, dude. No. You guys but, are fucked up. You know, but, but, <laughs> hey, why did I become the target of this shit? <laughs> you know, all you, hey, if hey, you guys are fans of mine out there listening yeah. to shit, you better fucking tell Judy's wrong <laughs> on this shit. Hey, hold on, Judy. The Z Cavaricis. <laughs> hold on, even better. Size 26 is tapered. Yes. <laughs> oh. Hey. Man, hey, but like, by the time you get them shits, they'll probably be coming back. So it'll be good, man. Like, it'll be good. I'm like, oh, shit, he's on them. Like, he's fucking. I got to say this, hype though. Beast. I That's not- what actually my son wears, yeah. like, his, but he can do it. His body, he's only 14. But, but, but Sam. But you can't do it. Don't no, no, try no, no, it, no, 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 listen, guys. <laughs> Don't try you do it, know I am not a fashion guy kind of guy. We know. <laughs> but I saw the old school pictures like you was doing it. Listen. Or in prison with his foot on the wall? No. <laughs> I <ain't> <laughs> <laughs> he was the freshest dude in prison. Okay. There you go. Okay. Laura, I, 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 on my own he show, I'm getting abused. Friends, Did you hear how I'm clean getting abused on my own show? <laughs> That's that guy with a split fucking head. He keeps his, he keeps his Once so, Sam gets here, he's supposed so to back me. Fucking clean. I can't fuck with I no, got your listen. back, bro. I'm fucking co-signing <laughs> all your shit right now. The man calling, he calling the way it is. But those prison poses... He had them down packed. Those, those are fucking. Oh, we did those. When did we do that, Sam? When did we do that? We were at an event or something, Laura. Which I was with Sam. We were taking pictures. He wants to do oh, a prison pose. Was he doing the squat? Or did you, do, or did you, did you put your hands oh, we, on your oh, hips? Oh, like hey, hey, Laura. We had, we had, we had, we had photo shoot. Photo Laura, shoot. we had a photo shoot, you know, here. Yeah. With, with the cigars and our, right. all of us guys. Mm-hmm. And so we're doing photo shoots. And Sam... I go, Sam, how come you know all about these photo shoots? <laughs> and all the my brothers, shit. my cousins. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got relatives. <laughs> a lot of collect calls yeah. at my house. You know, hit yeah. number five yes. to accept. Yeah. Uh, Yo, the- Larry, did you hit them uh, Do you hit the pose where your where your feet are together, but they one's pointing at fucking uh, three o'clock and one's at six o'clock? He you do does the fucking, hey, Listen, he hey, does dude, them all, dude, dog. That's awesome. We we did them, right? So we yeah. did these poses. You gotta respect it though. You definitely gotta We did these poses. So Sam goes, What the fuck? So we're I did trying you know, to do, do wait, 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 we're trying to do professional pictures. We got button up shirts, collared shirts, our collared shirts. He's over there on the wall with one foot on the wall. I'm sliding. rocking, yo. I'm actually rocking with Larry. A <laughs> He's rocking with Larry. I'm, a, I'm fucking with you. There a, you go, a my bill, man. A billion trillion percent. You're called Crooked Diamond. Okay. You, would look, you would look ridiculous out there, like uh, uh, waving no, yeah, with yeah. some doctor. Uh, oh, hey, hello hi. there. I'm the I'm the erection doctor. Hey. hey, hi. I'm I'm Ed. You remember the erection doctor commercial? <laughs> I don't, but like. <laughs> I'm with it, because <laughs> everybody it. needs erections. Laura, be honest, Laura. <laughs> Laura, you're a woman. This, this I respect Last more than anyone. No, no, you're checked. I know you're a woman. <laughs> Question: Am I that bad in fashion? Be honest. Uh, be honest. Ooh. Be honest. I agree with Jude. I do. I really. I do. What? What, what is that? That the, means you're the cut off red shirt. You have an image. So I should stick but with it. I'm going to go back to what I said. If your pants are falling off, 
And you right. ain't wearing no underwear. Oh, look, at under look, at Nick, look at Nick. Look at Nick. Look at Nick. Look at Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Nick. Yeah. Nick. It's hey, Sam. That's yeah. that's no joke. I had my basketball shorts. And Nick I says, you. Nick says to me, oh, he goes, yeah. change your shorts. He was going to wear them in. Yo, blah, but you would lose money if you dressed up. To one of these things, I swear to God, dude, you I know me, man. I didn't you tell look, him to you dress up, dude. You, you look ridiculous, <laughs> man. If you, you see me in a fucking suit and tie, hi, uh, yeah, just even hi there. Like, uh, like some Dockers and some square toed shoes, like you about to sell me a cell so phone? Like, I nah, have, bro. You know what? I have seen. <laughs> like, I've nah. seen you in a suit, and you're right. You don't. It, it's. Do you know? I went to Congress. I was recognized yeah, on the yeah, floor of the United States Congress. And this is a joke. I was recognized on the floor of the United States Congress, and I did not wear a tie. I respect that. Fuck your I problem. Said, <laughs> Where's, I'm so cool, too cool for a time. Fuck all. Oh, fuck what no, you guys fuck are you. about. Fuck you. Fuck I'm them. I'm a rule breaker. Fuck you. Shit. <laughs> you're like the prince. You're, you're the look, princess look. die of the whole fucking. Uh, well, I'm just gonna do my thing, tie. man. I'm gonna talk about bro. mental illness. Uh, like fucking words. Like I like fucking tradition, man. Like there's a reason for it. I'm a rule breaker. Yo, look at me. Fuck a tie. I'm, I'm too cool for a tie. Yo, even waiters you are getting wear ties. Bro. I am getting fucking wow. pounded on my own no, fucking show. The man. Wow. He's the real though. You always say the I, real deal. I love him. And I'm you glad I finally met that. him. <laughs> Sam knows that. I love it. Listen, Listen we all. I think it's. I think you should wear a tie to fucking Congress, bro. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, no. Man. Fuck like, you. I, I don't. I thought you were going to say you did wear a tie. No, I did not. And it went well. <laughs> and so, I, yeah, no, I no. did not. And he had his dick out. Like, what, bitch? What? Yeah. What? I object. Or what the fuck they say in Congress, man? I object. <laughs> ah. They all looked at it and they liked it. Salute, bitch. <laughs> salute, salute, salute. Hey, dude. <laughs> they all looked at my dick and liked it and that yeah. was into it. And that's, <laughs> and that's the 27th Amendment. Larry's dick. <laughs> no, listen. Okay. Listen. All right. I still think I look good when I do my dress up. My dress up. It Did you wear a tie because be, you had like a you shirt on? With no, no, let me collar. tell you something. I don't like ties because I don't like to be constrained. Word. I feel I, I, I would kill you with a tie. If you had a tie and I wanted to kill you, I could kill you. You could kill me if I was wearing flip flops. You could kill me if I was wearing a fucking iron suit. You could kill me a gang. You would just pick me up and throw me in the water. There's a gang of ways. You could fucking kill me, Larry. Like, that's kind of your deal. Like, like, killing me is your fucking, that's your wave or whatever the fuck they call it. That no killing That's your no. vibe. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter what I wear. I'd rather go out looking fresh. Okay. Like this air mess I'm getting killed okay. right now. <laughs> Laura, I am getting now ripped the fuck apart. Jude is fucking killing me, my what bro. What are you talking about? He's great. Dude, don't uh, give two shit. He's my homie, man. I just said I was gonna die, and like, <laughs> and he's the. This is total abuser he right there. It. Like that's the abuser playing the victim like, role. I can't believe <laughs> that I'm gonna kill him. Oh, gang of times. Uh. <laughs> I am. Fu what is going on here? Oh, martyr, oh, martyr! What, is, what, is, what is going on? Everybody, I'm the nice guy. Everybody here. calls me the killer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Sam. a nice little wasco. I never try to hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! I'm Get crying. The fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking crazy. <coughs> hey, it is. That's weird. why we click. Exactly. Because yeah, you're bro. fucked up. Yeah. You, you AKA fucked up white me. trash in this bit. Yeah. I love him, man. Mr. Lawton. I fuck. Listen, we are with Rude Dude from the Sirius XM 45, Shade 45. It's called the. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't matter. One way show. <laughs> yeah, it's the one way show, bro. You nailed it. And how man. long has he been on? How long has he been on? Fucking a gang of years. The <laughs> gang! <laughs> A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of years. So oh, it's good, man. I love it, man. That's, That's good, good man. Hey, we That's talked about stuff. his shit with Howard Stern. Yeah, hey, yeah, listen, nah, I gotta. Go. Should, I, should, should I go on Howard Stern? Yeah, I don't know if they'll let you, man. <laughs> let's, be, let's keep it a buck. Yeah, man, you should totally go. <laughs> I'm gonna call you. They don't want me there, do they? Uh, I don't think no, they don't want what? nobody. Not there, now. But, Not now. Nah, they're just doing. Yeah, they don't want. You know, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> You know he's real powerful in my fucking company, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's so, so let's not talk about it. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna have you, but <laughs> he should. Let's <laughs> we'll just say that. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I love it, fucking shit. Man, keep it real. I'd rather man. be on Mr. Beast's show. Man, keep it real. What yeah. show? That guy's out of control, Mr. Beast. Oh, Mr. fuck. Beast. I'd rather be on that oh, motherfucker that's, show. Yeah. That guy's fucking the real. He's a pretty young guy too. He is. Twenty-five. Young. He's the first YouTube guy. 
who's worth one point, his company's worth 1.1 billion. Yeah. He and is, yeah. he made, you know, that fucking guy is fucking going off the He could show man. up in some basketball shorts anyway. <laughs> yeah, he could. You're, not, yeah. you're not there yet, bro. I ain't there yet, bro. Uh, you can't dress like no, a hobo until you're a billionaire. Not you're not there, there yet. Hey, Sam. Is he fucking off the charts? Yeah, he tell you what it's Hey, what dude. It is, yes. man. No yes. basketball shorts? No. Not until you like a zillion <laughs> children. You can show up barefoot, man. Like, do whatever fuck you, you want. Feel the earth. <laughs> Kuna Matata. Help you get to a, a bazillion. Laura, I got fucking ripped apart. Spalding. Oh, wait, the best is they're Spalding basketball, basketball. short. What's wrong with Spalding? It's, it's, I think it's they, Spalding. Not, uh, the Hoosiers had them in <laughs> that fucking Gene Hackman movie, man. Was real, they were fucking Nick. awesome. Uh, Nick, are you listening to this shit? That? No, uh, Nick is fuck. Look, cause Nick's the same Nick foot. knows, man. If I told my I son that my partner wore some Spalding basketball shorts, yeah. what would my fourteen year old think, Jude? Oh, wait, wait, wait! Your well, fourteen year olds like my show, right? Yeah, he likes your show, but I don't tell him you wear Spalding <laughs> basketball shorts. I mean, let's be real. They be them youngsters be <laughs> wearing some choke like <laughs> fuck. I don't know how they can choke their legs out and sag at the same fucking time with some Crocs. So I wouldn't worry about them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my biggest fear is to get robbed by someone in Crocs, man. Like, I was just, I don't know what I, I don't do, wear man. Crocs. I don't wear yeah. Crocs either. Yeah, man, but, it. like, I'm just saying the youngsters, I don't know how your how your son dresses, but these youngsters now. Yeah. Oh, his son, they are youngsters. And his son, they, son, they look son, all son's types great. of crazy. I had his son in here. Yes. And, and his son, he's, he's trying to teach Shout his son. Shout out to Cameron. Yep, Cameron. Yes. Yeah, so Cameron does here. not think you're cool for dressing. <laughs> But no Spalding I, I thought, basketball I thought Cameron thought I was cool. Not, yeah, but you weren't wearing Spalding well, basketball shorts. shorts that day. I thought, I what, thought, were they I thought he said I was hip. Were they I was, I was on the vibe. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking hip. <laughs> Am I right? Well, he's on like, fire. Laura, he's on fire. You got he's some on, drinks in me, really, though. He's, Sorry, he's on fucking fire. He's, it's a yeah, pleasure, big take, dog. Take the drink away from me and I'll shut the fuck out. Keep it. Hell no. I'll give you another one. You guys are going to go to Daytona tomorrow? I think we are. Yeah. You know, we, we, we got a, a, a few things to do. And uh, Jude, just to let everybody know, uh, this Sunday on YouTube, Jude is going to be my guest on the cooking show. Oh. So that's going to be You're doing prison cool. cooking, Jude? You just told me you ain't did no you ain't I, did a bit. I told you, I feel like an imposter. I'm going to be like, I feel like weirdo wearing that red, the orange thing. Well, he's yeah. wearing an orange jumpsuit. I wore, Sam, I Sam, wore we got You got the right suit. size? You got the right size for you? You know what the right size in prison is? One size. Whatever the yeah. fuck they put on Okay. You. Uh, I'm be, learning something new. Yeah, it's going to be oh, No, you're not. Who no, you kidding, <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Larry, don't have my nipples fucking pushing through that shit. Man. I might like I that, that shit. shit works. I, yeah, <laughs> I know. That's, it's going to hey, be a weird episode. Here's what you got to do. You got to do the pose with him. Gotta do the oh, we're going to do the jailhouse pose, pose for sure. Okay. I wish I had some real crispy K-Swiss to put on, man. Like, <laughs> just fucking really do the most with that shit, man. Oh, well, I'm going to make you look like a real prisoner. Oh. I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> just, let's keep it a buck, man. I don't like how that sounds, man. Like, Holy that's shit. weird, man. That like, weird. fuck me up real good. Oh, my God. You I'm going like to so. make you look like a real prisoner. <laughs> So you guys are hey man, so Sunday. you got like an extra like room I don't know, man. for the night and uh, the next yeah. three nights? Make you yeah. look like a real. I'm a Uber over there, man. <laughs> Watch, I'm, I'm gonna sleep under the fucking truck, man. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna, I'm be on there fucking uh, petrified in the grass under the truck. Oh my lordy, lordy yeah, yeah. Lordy. Just to let everybody yeah. know, Rude is staying in. Uh, Jude is staying in my RV. Yes. Nice. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Lock the door and uh, turn the alarm. I ain't, ain't going to do it. Yeah. Sam, is it, do I have a nice yeah, RV? Very nice. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be, quote, on staying in his RV. <laughs> yeah. I'm being be in a bush out somewhere, tonight. man. Like, I'm, you're not catching me, man. I do have a key. That's what, that's what yeah, man, I thought about that. That's this whole conversation. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to cook eggs. <laughs> Eggs. Yeah, we're doing like breakfast burrito. What, what's your? Uh, we're what's cooking your breakfast. We're, we're cooking bre breakfast. First of all, I got a, a shout out. Jude saw what I made. Jude, you saw what I made. Yeah. For Tuesday's video. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I got a video coming out either Tuesday. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday, Nick? Huh? Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, it, it's the no. I thought it was Wednesday because this week we're doing Tuesday. Anyway, I I, I have a, a shank video. I make shanks oh, yeah. on freaking. Video, dude, I made those shanks right in front of everybody. 
and they're fucking killer shanks. You could kill somebody. I actually show at the end of the video, so make sure you watch him. He actually kills a person. You know? <laughs> but the guy was a piece of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Disclaimer. Total piece disclaimer. of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, disclaimer. We don't kill anybody here. We might injure them, but we don't kill them. Here, the real deal. We you know the truth of the matter. Anybody. The truth of the matter is, ninety percent of all stabbings in prison don't result in death, which is a good thing. Ninety yeah. percent. Yeah, ninety percent. They need to get better at that shit. No, no, <laughs> no, yeah, no. Most so killing, most stabbings. The like, other ten percent die. No, yes. <laughs> is that on yeah. accident? But that's not bad. No, because I stabbed two people. And okay. they didn't die, thank God, because I, would, I wouldn't be here. Okay. Uh, but most stabbings in prison don't result in death unless you want them. Like, I saw one guy get stabbed 30 times on the phone. He, he died. That'll kill him. Yeah, that, that, that'll kill him. <laughs> but when you, a, like, I got this guy street twice. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. And. So what do you do after you're done? Like, well, you, you, I'll see you later. No. I go back to myself. No, uh, no, like no. It's no, lunchtime. Your first, your first, I mean, the child, I gotta do some. Duck, no, the first thing you do is you hide your shank. You get rid yeah. of your shit. You get rid of your shit. Can you just leave it in them? No, or they take it out and stab you. Right? No, no, no. Yeah. You, you get That's rid of the shit. Idea. You get rid of the shank. You All do right. that shit. You're gone. And then you try to hope that he don't tell. And you the try guy, to hope. <laughs> well, yeah, because the guys I, I stabbed what didn't is, tell on like, me. Like, what is what's the tell rate? For getting stabbed, I'm dead ass. Like, what is the tell rate? Well, like, it, it depends. You know, it depends on who you fucking stab. But I'm just saying, Why like, on an average, like, how many I people? How many well, people listen, tell? I stabbed two people. They didn't tell. Of the people so you your, saw, your be percentage stabbed, is hundred. Mine's on it. Of, of the people you saw be stabbed, like, how many told? Well, the guys who died can't tell. True. So a couple True. of those I see. All right. So the so other guys, the other guys, I don't. Here's what happens. What happens is if they come and they get you. That meaning that the, the administration, they come, they fucking do that, and all of a sudden you're you're literally arrested. You yeah. get arrested in prison. And then then you're going to be tried for it, depending on what you're going to be tried. The two guys who got killed, were never, nobody was tried. Well, actually, one was tried. So that way they tried him when he was dead? No, no, no. No, he's dead. They tried the guys who killed him. Oh. They, they charged him with murder. You will be charged with murder. He should be? Well, I don't know about that. Okay. If a guy deserves it. Okay. I'm What's right. the definition of deserve? Listen, yeah. listen. Fuck you do something Fuck wrong. Em. That's what. It is. No, no. <laughs> listen. In that, in that environment, even though no, on the real, in that environment, there's things you can do and you can't do. You know. What are the top? What are, like, what are, what are the top? Three ways to get killed. Like, if you just want, like, fuck it. Let me have someone. Fuck it. Let me just have someone well, stab the, the no, shit the first, out of me. The first what, way, what, the what most ways do? people die in prison is first overdose. They overdosed. I watched a guy. But I was I mean, in a cell with a guy, and he called. He said to me, he, he, I was in the cell, and the dude says to the du drug dealer, and I remember the drug dealer was a Latin king, head of Latin kings, and he says, hey, I need five papers of heroin. Now, I'm like, I'm sitting in a cell. I'm on my bunk, and the dude, and I go, oh, fuck. And then this, this, the, the dude he's asking for the dope is a fucking straight killer. He's been kicked out of a couple of penitentiaries for murders, and, and he's a good friend of mine, and he's a good dude. To me, he's a good. That's dude. for you, Robin. So, so listen. No, 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 no. So listen. Keep talking about my motherfucking spotters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you fuckers, you're trying to make it real. Compare me to my. So no, son, no. So man. what happened was, yeah. so dude, so the guy sits down. Yeah. He says okay. to the dude, he goes, "Give me five papers of heroin." And the guy looks. He goes, "What are you talking about?" He goes, "You owe me fucking money." He goes, "I ain't paying you." I go, "Oh fuck, he's gonna kill him right here." I'm sitting on the bunk, and uh, he goes, "I'm checking out." And I'm like, you know, that means he's going to kill himself. He's going to die. And the dude says, listen to me. I'm going to give you fucking the heroin. You don't say heroin. You know, I'm going to give you the papers. If you're not dead in the morning, I'm going to kill you. The dude was dead in the morning. He killed himself. So, he overdosed. I'm going to go back to what Jude asked, I think, a couple. Why do you kill someone in prison? Like you said, there are... There, um, there are certain things you do. That's what oh. I'm saying. Yeah, like, what do, I think what, that's what he meant. What do I have to do to... Right. That's what okay. I got to do to get killed in here? Well, know? listen, it could I mean, be as little... It depends. It could be as little as disrespecting somebody and then making them feel like a punk. Now, punk in prison is a little bit different than... It's like, a, like a, It's like a pussy... Uh, a, a a gay, well, a like bitch, a, a bitch. gay guy, a bitch. It's, it doesn't have to be gay. But you can say to the motherfucker, you think I'm punk? Like, listen, if a guy fucking bumps into me and doesn't say, a, doesn't say excuse, excuse me, me. Yeah. I might kill him. Because I might be perceived as weak by not doing that. I watched a kid, a kid get killed over a, a, not even a pack of cigarettes, the carton. You remember the plastic 
packs that you used to put yeah, over yeah, yeah. with the matches and, yeah. and the little. The, and then you put the drugs in them. Yeah, whatever. whatever the, the drugs. No, I don't mean drugs, but I, I watched the I kid know, get like, killed over that. Word. And it wasn't about just that. It was about when you try to beat somebody. You could beat me. I stabbed the guy for forty dollars, and he owed me. Now I didn't try to kill him, but I I, I actually. Don't know if I did or not. I'm glad I didn't when I stabbed him in the back and he was a guy and he didn't rat. It was, we went to their people and they have what they call shot calls in prison. Now they're the leaders of certain gangs. So we went to him and said, listen, he owes money. They go, he, he's not with us. You do what you want. That means he's open game. Now the guy who he beat, which he beat me as a bookie, I had to do the business. So when I saw him coming, I had it planned. He was coming through a, a, a bunch of people coming in. He was going up the stairs. I got that shank. I showed. What I type think of, I showed you. Was it what type of prison weapon you hit him? Because you, you showed I showed, me I showed it was that, it was that one shank with the, uh, the uh, plastic, plastic the butter knife, knife. the plastic knife. Mm -hmm. That one is serious. Yo, yeah, yeah, I'm on my video this Tuesday. I just demonstrate how it could kill you. It looks like some Dracula shit. Like well, you about uh, to take yeah. out I, a, I got it right here, and, I, and I'm not showing it on this show, but I will show it Tuesday. And I actually show how you could kill somebody with it. In fact, I go through fucking So he walks layers. by. No, he goes by and there's a whole group and I see him. So I, I grab the fucking shank. I fucking go. I follow him up. He sees me. He starts running. I run it after. People are just moving out of the way. Fuck, bam, 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 bam. I fucking got him in the fucking back side two or three times. He gets into the unit. Now there's a guard in the unit. So I have to go. So I duck down to my fucking cell. I fucking dish the shank. Now, this is at count time. It was 3.30. Yeah, how do you ditch a shank in your What well, do you do with the clothes, too? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, my clothes. What do you mean? My, what, my clothes are good. What, 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 I don't what? know. I just figured it'd be splashy. Blood. Blood. Like, yeah. No, no, it wasn't. No, no. You pat, 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 pat. He's fucking oh, yeah. shit. Okay. You know, he's getting shirt it's on. It's not like true crime. Or just, no, know, dude, what do you think? I'm shooting him with a fucking bullet? No, you're fucking smashing him. Fucking bam, bam. And I shanked him and fucking. That would be a bummer. Now, I fuck, he, he walks yeah, in. And, and I, I'll tell you what I respected about him. So, they, count time comes, right? And they count. And they don't clear count. They have to clear. They usually clear count about 415, 420. And they don't clear count. So all of a sudden, fuck, they're not clearing count. Fuck, 430. They're not clearing count. Now they clear count because they have to start chow. They don't clear count at 540, uh, 440. Oh, so fuck. All of a sudden, I see a bunch of fucking officials come through our unit because you had to go through our unit to go up to uh, uh, A2 in Atlanta. This is USP Atlanta. So I'll go, they go up to A2. And I'm, fuck, I'm, fuck, I'm talking to my celly. Fuck it, I already ditched the shank, so it's gone. Now I'm looking out my window. Now about 5 o'clock, they still haven't cleared count. I go, fuck, I, I hope I didn't kill them because that's what I was worried about. And they're fucking a whole bunch of people start coming down the stairs, and it's the officials. And he comes down, and he's in handcuffs, but he's got all blood over here on his back. He's got blood. And sure enough, I fuck, he looked right up at my cell. Now I'm looking down. And he didn't say anything. You know, he walked by my cell. He looked up there. He knew where my cell was. Because, yeah. you know, we all know where your cell is. And I, he walked by, he looked at my cell, and he had blood all over here. And he had a, a, a nurse next to him and fucking guards all around and shit and fucking officials. And he walked out. They clear count about 515. And I, once they took him to the box, they call it, you know, took him to the hole. And they clear count. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh, fuck, they're going to come get me. You know, they're going to come get me. You know, if he tells, they're going to come get you. You know, you say, hey, Lawton did it. You know, <laughs> fucking did. He didn't say a word because he went to the hole. He was transferred. He, he yeah. didn't kill him, obviously. And thank God, you think about it. You don't think about what you could have done. You could have fucking paralyzed him. You could have got him in the spine. Let me ask you this, man. Like, sure. So once you stab someone, do they still owe you the money? No, he's done. <laughs> right. No, 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 that's true. That, yeah, that, that, that's a good thing. Like, you know, no, no, he's, that's a good question. Yeah, that because is actually a good question. It's a so good the question. debt paid. Yeah, all right, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, but now he's gone. Well, that's pretty cool about the dope dealer that was just like, Fucking! It was kind of a sign of mercy that he just gave. Yeah, you know, the, you know the dude, the, the you know dude that I mean? he let let kill himself. Uh, and I've seen a lot of those. Uh, that you know, uh, I saw a lot of those. What happened was he fucking uh, he, he was a dope dealer, and he just it was like, hey, you know, and that guy lost. I remember because I was doing legal work, and the guy lost his appeals. He had no more time. You know, he could never do anything. He was about fifty years old at the time. I'm I'm. 37, 30, something like that, 36, 37. He fucking lost his appeal, and he's never going back in prison. He's got multiple life sentences. And the guy, the guy wasn't, the guy that killed himself, I felt bad for because 
The guy, the guy wasn't a murderer or a bad. He was a drug dealer, and he fucking had multiple life sentences. Now, yes, was it a lot? Maybe, maybe fifty kilos, a hundred kilos. It wasn't that much. Yeah, but it's not like you know, it's not like motherfucker. He didn't. He wasn't blasting yeah. people. Well, yeah. I, even like these fucking cats that do the white collar crimes. Like I feel like they should go away for a long ass time. No, they, they should just no, 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 no. They should just man. let them come into the prison I was in. That's what I'm saying. Or how we want to do it. <laughs> you want to do it. Like, but it, like they need to be treated the same, man, because you're destroying. Well, you know, it, 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 it has way. happened that way. Ever since the old times when they had the, uh, what was in, I forget those guys who did it. When you started with, uh, what's his, his uh, fucking Bernie Madoff. Mm -hmm. Bernie Madoff ended up getting 150 years and he died in prison. So, yeah, but how many of them get that, right? Uh, now, prison, now they do, Sam. Which prison did he go to? He went to a button up. Which is which uh, is one like you were in? Or no, no, it was a little lower. What do you call it? Button up? Buttner, Buttner, oh, North Carolina, and it was they had a medical facility there. You know, if you get old people and stuff like that. But here's the problem: people think, oh, he's old; they're not going to get away with it. Bert, uh, the guy named uh, fucking Whitey Bulger from the fucking oh, uh, yeah. uh, they. Yeah. I knew the guys that killed him. A guy named Freddie Geese killed him. Interesting story. A, a guy's yeah. Hazelton, and I knew the prisoner. Hazelton is a maximum security prison, like I was in, and it's a Fed, and. Whitey Bulger was on the yard for 12 hours and they fucking took a shank and put it in his eye and fucking ripped his eye out. Good they were God. cutting his tongue out wow. in a fucking hours, thing. Huh? And they killed him in 12 hours. So, so now that, 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 that'll kill a guy. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so that guy, <laughs> he and, 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 and here's this, that guy was 80 years old, 78 years old, 80 years old. They don't yeah. give a fuck how old you are. Right. If you're fucking goddamn... So doing what he did. Who got him? Were they like connected with that? Same, yeah, with yeah, the same clip? yeah. They Started. were from Boston, right? Oh, buddy. they were from Boston, and and I think the BOP, Bureau of Prisons, actually killed him because they put him on a yard that they knew he was going to get killed. Right, and you're not supposed to put him there. No, oh, they man, shouldn't man. have put him there. Laura, she's, what's she's up? A liability. Laura, it's, she you got, got she got a cake. Testing. She's got a cake testing. Hell yeah, she want no bullshit ass cake. She got to get. She got, That's the Laura don't want some bullshit. Laura, what the fuck is that? Laura? She want that fuego. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That A1 cake. That, <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Laura, like a real deal. It's cake. Laura, it's I am cake. At, I want to go test some cakes. <laughs> Me Do it, too. Baby. Right? They're all right. No, I'm wearing my. I'm no, wearing my I, I just. Shorts. You, you asked about how, what, You asked what shorts. happens in prison, I, and that that happens in prison. That is real him. prison. Cake testing. Who? Oh, stabbing in the eye. Stabbing, cutting the motherfucker up. I was already on cakes, man. I was like, <laughs> word. <laughs> you done flipped the script the already. Sorry. We're all over the place. Dude, okay. I suggest you don't go to prison. No, nah, no, nah, I don't plan on it. <laughs> I don't know, but I think of all the people in the room, I would do the worst. Uh, in you, prison? You'd be yeah. all understanding and get you some uh, love. Yeah, you... <laughs> Laura, you'd get a lover. <laughs> yeah, you'd, a, you you know, you'd be like the nurse shit. in a prison. Yeah. And, Honey, you're like, oh, no. and tonight we're going to do trivia. And like, you come up with all the fucking questions and you, oh my God, you have that's to do hilarious. them for dumb people because they're stupid and shit. Like, <laughs> fucking, you you know, couldn't even I, use I'll words. You, you just have to draw shit. I don't know. You know, I, I, I often think about what me going back What's to that? prison. If, if what I would be like in today's prison. You told me once you wouldn't go back. No, I don't know if I'd kill somebody beforehand or, or, or like, I don't know. I, I did, Listen, time is time. I mean, you know, I, I think I could adapt very quickly and, and fucking be. When I went back to prison after the halfway house, when I was in a halfway house, I went back to prison and I took over the fucking place, the jail. And they were fucking guys who killed their family. And I went up to the felony pod, of course. And, and when I went up to the felony pod, it was like, I didn't give a fuck. They knew. It's a demeanor you have. It's the way yeah. you act. It's the way you handle yourself. And life. that everywhere. Yeah, it, it's in the way you like. Yeah. I was just saying that. Like I was in Chicago, and everybody's walking around like they just about to get robbed. And I'm like, you got to stand up straight there, champ. Like, just, uh. shut up. Yeah, no, he's like, right. It, it, like it's less, how you. They look like the less than sign. When it's how it's how you handle yourself and anything you watch. I agree, but I'm more of a. I think I I'll always do the worst. to this day. You think you do the worst? I'm gonna call it. I'll do the worst. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to call it. No, you, you're a street kid. Yeah, but I just talk too much. And I, <laughs> I, I, just, I just talk a lot. And I, the like, those of... jokes will go, 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 go. And then suddenly I'm like, why is there a fucking thing in my neck? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was joking. I thought it was, I thought it was jokes. 
shit. I didn't oh even talk about it. You might got a point there, Larry. You might got a point there. Yeah, I, I don't know how you do. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't, yeah. He changed I'll, his mind already. You know what? You know what? Well, I don't know. Larry, Larry, would you be a wigger or are you? A sh- no, I'll get a Nazi shit all over you, bro. <laughs> are you kidding me, bro? Uh, yo. Any fucking hell, I'm not gonna do it. Fuck that. <laughs> like it's either fucking this yeah. or Nazi. Yo, you gonna fit in. yo, bro. I, I, yo, whatever. <laughs> hey, fucking what we need to do over here, right? Fuck those guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fucking was a Slayer. Fucking turn it up, dude. Yeah. Fucking oh a, my bro. god. Are you fucking Sam? Kidding? What did you walk in? It is what you told me about him. You bro, know I love him. So- I you thought know, you guys would any be Any white dude Laura, that doesn't say is fucking retarded, like, man. I'm trying like, to I'm going to get bought fucked to show how not racist I am. Like, what? Nah, bro. I'll just be racist, man. Like, I'll be racist and not get bought You got to be on the fucked, team, bro. right? Yeah, yeah, well, listen, listen. Butt fucking isn't bad. Okay, stop. Uh, they don't even got poppers. You know how there's this thing. These guys are crazy. <laughs> There's this thing on Sesame Street where they say, like, one of these things doesn't belong. I think that's me right now. Oh, no, Lord, do you think you don't belong in this belong? conversation? Whatever. This you, is like you're going to be spooning your Sally and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna Laura. Be, you're going to be fucking with your bunkie, just like, what's your favorite color? You're going to be like, oh, yeah, Laura, what the fuck is she doing here? Laura, hey. uh, who, are people going to go, what? <laughs> and that's a hey. doctor's wife. Hold on. <laughs> She'll get a lot of good packages, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, say, she hey. Commis- see that? Packages. She gets some commissary and everything. I Y'all would be her best friend. I would get a lot of care packages. You know, you know, Laura. Best friend. Listen to me. The first thing I would do. Simp hey, you want? You. You, hey, no. You want to hear the simp, you hustle you on her? What? Here's the hustle. All right, here's you the and hustle. me are fucking. You know. Go. <laughs> let, let me go to Sam. Sam's a black guy. Okay. So Sam and I. <laughs> Is he really? You fuck right now. You better get Nazi thing. You where's your Nazi thing? No, thing? you okay. motherfuckers. Oh, all right. Are you gonna hear the fucking? Yeah, I don't Nazi. know how this shit oh, works. My bad. My bad. My bad. Wait, wait. Hey, Judy goes. Sam's a black guy. Listen. Are we on video? Yeah, you are. Now, uh, here, here we're going to do. Down. Here's the hustle. All right. Okay. Laura comes to prison. I fucking Sam. I go befriend Laura. I say, hey, Laura, how you doing? Bye bye. I Time got. Out. Are we all girls right now? Well, okay. all girls. Like, all right, bet. Okay. I was we're like, all girls. We're this all girls. Sounds like a cool ass prison. <laughs> okay. All right. We're all girls. Listen, Let's we're go. all girls. All right. So I go, hey, Laura, how you doing? Hey, yeah. Oh, she goes, oh, I'm new in this. You find out her husband's a doctor and all this shit. And we do. And, and I go, don't worry about things. I'm your friend now. Blah, blah. I go up to Sam. I say, Sam, see this bitch over here? I want you to go in and tell her you're going to kill her if you don't give you 400 a month. Kill her. You fucking threaten the shit out. Why the black man got to go? We, yeah, well, we, we, well yeah. you know, we got to do what you yeah, got to do. You know how it is. <laughs> so Sam goes up there and says, hey, bitch. Listen, bitch. You think what? you're fucking tough? I'm the fuck. I want no. fucking 400 a month. I'm going to kill bitch. you. Give me money, honky bitch. You <laughs> okay. Cracker, cracker, honky bitch. So now, right. now Sam, <laughs> now Sam did his job. I'm sorry. Now Sam did his job. Now Laura. Shut it, the fuck up, honky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like. This is fucking off the chains now. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. now Laura all, says. Laura's scared. <laughs> now we're in prison. Yeah. So Laura's scared. Okay. Laura yeah. says. I'm oh scared. my God. She says. You know, Larry, what do I do? This guy come, he's gonna kill me. I said, Laura, don't worry about it. I know who he is. You're gonna I know, I know who she oh, is. Oh, you playing both sides. Right. So. I said, listen, I know who she is. Here's what we're gonna do. Listen, Laura. I guess you, I'm just figuring myself. Can you afford can you afford two hundred? Can you afford two hundred, Laura? Oh. She goes, Yeah, I think I could. Can you can you make make him not but I said, I got this, Laura. I fucking go, don't say anything. I said, Boom, I come back later already. He he's already in on this. I said, now listen, leave her alone. Say, man, you're lucky you got fucking Larry next to you, you fuck, because you're covered. And then out of fist in your honky <laughs> pussy. <laughs> this, I'm just, is this I'm just a good adding. time? I'm just adding. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, man. Is now, this look, a good time to segue into our parent seminar? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want your if daughter you to yeah. end up like this, if you yeah. don't want your daughter in prison, you better go to my parents. Wait, but finish it. I really want to know how this ends. I'm sorry, so, I didn't mean to say things. No, dude. Okay. Love it. All right. Dude, stop fisting her. Stop fisting no, her. That's not me. Oh, it's Sam? Yes. It's a black guy. I'm white. <laughs> I got to go test cake. So now, Laura, no, yeah. Laura, you end up saying, okay, I got Laura good. Yeah. And now Laura now pays 200 a month in juice. And now she's covered. And you guys now, whenever I want a little more, I got the bigger one, the other black yeah. guy, the bigger no. black guy to come and yeah. say, 
I don't give a fuck who Larry is. Fuck you, motherfucker. I'm the fuck you in the ass. And 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 she goes, Larry, what do I do? This is a one time deal. You just gotta send him two hundred. So like, what do they? What, what do did they just spit the money? Yeah, yeah. Or, okay. We the money. <laughs> or did they just do it to other like? No, no. We split the money. No, no. Split the money. That's that. No, that's I'm how a, hustles go. I'm gonna that's how hustles go. Black now, vagina, what Laura like, should have? <laughs> now wait a minute. You want a wait a minute? Fisting? No, wait. What Laura should have did? Okay. Laura should have got one of Larry Shanks that he makes on YouTube Tuesday. Yeah. And fucking says, go get your fucking but shit, motherfucker. Laura ain't built like that, man. Oh, no, Laura ain't Laura's built like that. Scared. Well, she better what be built like that. Otherwise, she's going to be paying. That's what why was I, I come in with a cape. What I'm like, come on, guys. Laura's crime <laughs> was check writing. <laughs> <laughs> Bad yeah, check. There you go. <laughs> Bitch, okay. bad check. I paid my taxes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, Laura's really been a mass murderer, and she don't oh, tell God. anybody. And fuck, she kills everybody she at the end of the fucking script. On I. Right? <laughs> For, oh really? Oh really? <laughs> Come into my cell, motherfucker. What if she like braids hair good or something like that? <laughs> yeah, she, there like, you go. I can get do the pass. Hey go. Sam, I ain't got no damn hair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you're in big trouble then. <laughs> I'm going. I'm Laura's going. a serial I'm killer. Bye, Laura. Laura. Bye, Laura. Have fun. Laura's a serial killer. <laughs> have fun Laura, did you have fun on the show today? Laura's out of control. That, Laura, you ain't never seen this lifestyle in your life, man. She's a- let me tell you something. I want to wait, 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 wait. On the real, Sam. The Sam, a, hey, Sam. As a strong woman, dude, I wouldn't let that happen dude. to you. Hey, dude, yeah. let's thank Laura for coming. Laura, thank you thank so much. Laura, thank you, man. We Bye. love you. You know that, Laura. This a Laura, crowd. I got this a you. Crowd. If you go to prison, just talk to me. No, she ain't going to go. I love her, man. <laughs> you know. Oh, she's... Poor Laura. Laura, you, Laura, you all right, Laura? We Laura made her leave. It, man. Oh, <laughs> man. She's going to cry in the car. <laughs> Like, what the fuck am I doing, man? I'm trying to, I'm trying to read this big book. It's going to be honky bitches. And I know it's role play, but it hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Dude, you guys are on the mic change. He's Jude, good. your name fits you perfect, man. Rude, Jude. What are you, I'm fucking, really? <laughs> I was like, I was just trying to be fucking. <laughs> Dude, nice. I'm the normal guy. Yeah, yeah I know. You're, I know no, like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm drunk the uncle. Two of you guys are. I'm drunk Definitely. uncle. You could. You're, you're, you're allowed to be a drunk uncle here. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's in this show. Drunk. White boy D- wasted? Yeah, I'm fucking, yeah. <laughs> wait, it's kind of my, my wife, thing. White my boy wife. wasted? I can't wait for my wife to see this yeah. show. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm she's wild. Gonna, hey, she's going to ask yeah. you. She's going to want to see if she wants you to come to church with us. Actually, I was thinking about going to church. Okay. And? What happened? You thought what? <laughs> no, nah, I was like, yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's a good idea. Well, well, why don't yeah, you go? Yeah, just show some humility. I'm gonna well, take why don't you go, you guys? Well, cause I like drugs. And stuff. <laughs> so like, I'm really pondering it. Like, I, I know, no, I mean, Sam, like, I know. You tell your wife I don't know him. I know <laughs> so you know him well. I know it's good for but me, but she doesn't judge. My wife, I know. Won't judge. your I'm, wife doesn't. Her I'm wife read my it. book, and you know what she said to Sam. I like him. What's up on them? No, no, right, Sam? What's up on, them, what's up on Cuban oh, links? In the beginning. <laughs> what did she say in the beginning? In the beginning, she was like, uh, I don't know about this guy. That's how, I don't know about a, this partnership. That's how, that's how, <laughs> I, Larry, that's how, that's how they are with me. That's how they are you saying, Like, what the fuck is going on? And they're like, I guess he's not that bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, what, what? His wife read, his wife, uh, uh, listen, read, read your book? Read the book. And in, in the, the beginning, beginning of my book, I'm pretty bad. Obviously. Yeah, as a. He's like, are you going to business with him for real? And she goes, are you going to business with the guy? And she goes, he goes, yeah. And then she read the final. And she goes, oh, he's a good guy. We can have him over for yeah, we, nice. we can, can bring, I can, yeah, I can go over. You but you know, every time I want to go over, he goes, uh, not now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Jude? Is I he think, ducking me? Well, <laughs> he goes, it's the, here's the thing, man. If you guys want to hang out over here, over in the cigar thing. <laughs> Probably should stay away from that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nick, you Nick, be, you can you get on the mic, please? Bro, over there, sit down. Oh man. No, yeah, sit down. You okay. You know what pissed her off the most? What? Them fucking Spaldings. <laughs> <laughs> what, I, no. I, hey, one day he does a show, right? Let, Nick, yeah. what was the fucking show? No, no, wait, wait. Anybody, let everybody know. We got yeah. Nick. Nick's my assistant. Nick, Nick's Nick is in the on, house. Oh, hey, Nick's Nick in the house. What's up? We could not make it go without Nick. No, no, really. Actually, the crazy thing about it was Nick made Larry change. For the show last night, when Larry was going to wear the Spaldings into... Like it was normal. 
I'm with that. This is a normal I'm, I'm thing. On, for I'm on Team Larry. <laughs> yeah, Larry that on is this my one. man. I'm on Team Larry for that one four particular hours. <laughs> <laughs> for those, for those Wait, four hours. So Nick says, I'm Team Larry. <laughs> Nick you're says not, to me, you're no, not coming Nick out. Nick is great. Nick drives the RV. But you know, I was on a, a, a live show yesterday and. He's Maybe gonna pull I, one of the shanks out no, I, yesterday I, I, while I was driving. No, I yelled, at, I yelled so at Nick. Mad. I yelled at Nick so a little mad. bit, and you know how many people said, "Please don't hurt Nick." Yeah, man. don't hurt Nick. I mean, honestly, just hearing both of y'all on mic right now is a power dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was gonna, he was gonna pull one of those fucking knives out, and just stab me in my neck, man. Like I, I feel for you, Nick, man. Just. Aim the that, just tell him you aiming for a tree if he does that shit. Well, oh. everybody Sam, what am die. I going to do with him? No, yeah. but no, Nick, it's definitely, we have a really good team, and we all hold our own, and Nick definitely does, you're great. Just like I texted him this morning, I told him I appreciate everything he does. Oh, did you? Good. Because he yelled at you yesterday. That's okay. You know what he yelled at me? He goes, why didn't Sam Text me about these cigars. Absolutely. Why didn't Sam do this? He go. I go. You good to tell Sam? I'm no, human. I was yelling about the business cards. Oh, he, oh, oh okay. he's mad at your uh -oh. business cards. But like, yo, that's look good. at Sam. That's, look at Sam. Look at Sam's like, face. Nah, I bro, love it. That, that, no, that's good that you guys are communicating because nobody likes like somebody. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. They motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's right. I love you. Cards. Keeping it's, it's, it in. It's, it's, yeah, it's like yeah. Y'all supposed to talk. So what? So what did we do? You can tell Nick. Actually, I had Cameron help me. My son, but what Cameron, you messed up. He's got the wrong website. Fucking up, bro. But, hey, okay, but they can. We'll fix it. We'll, yeah, another we'll thing. It bat. doesn't have where you can write on the back. Fair enough. Look, so, <laughs> so, no, we're, no, we're fucking with Sam now. We're fucking with Sam now. I really want to jump on, <laughs> bro. I don't, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening. Like a website, so you listen. can't draw and shit. Like what is? <laughs> So we made, some quick, we made yeah. some quick business cards. We had an event coming up really quick. It goes with and the I fucked it up. pants, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, you, I, I fucked oh, up the business card. You, you, you can't critique my man's pants when, <laughs> when the business cards aren't oh, tight. Oh, so see, Nick, go ahead. Tell, tell right, me what I did I wrong. get it now. Tell him, Nick. Deflection, bro. It's all good. Oh. Yeah. I'm with it, bro. And another thing about those shoes, right? <laughs> Am I right, guys? Yeah, I wear sneakers. What? So what else? Go ahead, Nick. So it's Nick, just the business cards. That's fair enough. It. But it was We're a quick match, and I'll take that one to the gym. Nick, okay. Nick, don't just say that. I'm gonna tell say, him the other thing. Oh, you, it was the papers. You, you, you wanted, you wanted us to papers. Make papers twenty minutes before the show and be there early. Oh, see, see, Sam. That's what are, not possible. What, what are Sam, papers, Sam? So we had not paper not rolling papers. Oh, I was like all confused. I was like, what? You re-roll the fucking cigars and some. And let's be real, man. Who the fuck uses a business card, man? <laughs> You might as well give him a sticker. Like no one's doing, no one's using that shit. What? Let's get mad about something different, fellas. Okay. Like oh, Larry, I love it. What are you like? You came from the eighties and you're mad about fucking business cards? I'm not, yes. Did you see yeah. me mad at anything? Was Larry mad Wait. or were you mad about the business? Because I can't see Nick. Nick? Nick, stop, dog. No one, <laughs> you know what business cards are for? Shopping up my Coke, bro. Like, I don't do shit. Up. <laughs> Man, I'm, fucking, I'm like, what are fucking business cards, Sam, dude? Sam, stop I love it, him, bro. man. Stop and they're it. the thick ones, so you can yeah, chop that's it up what I'm good. Saying. They got the good ones God now. Goddamn right. Good way you guys late. are still you doing that shit, Coke, in the, in, in the 90s? What, what, well, in the 20s? say the 90s. Oh, I, oh, it was that. actually ketamine. But oh, like, okay. It didn't have can you that, cut up ketamine? It, it didn't have the ring. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> chopping up my coke had more razzle dazzle to it like chopping up my ketamine like it's too much listen it was off i don't timing. even know what ketamine is it's like a it's a ketamine right it's a ketamine. Ket yeah it's i had a horse, horse look what he did he had to tell me uh, early. he tell was me. telling me about like all oh, these drugs out here like ketamine and i was like bro if you were saying Versace, I would stop you. And like, this is ketamine, bro. This is ketamine. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm the cool with the kids. Shit. The ketamine, right? Am I right? <laughs> like the yeah. rosin. Or yeah. Right. Do you do the uh, dimped? What's the dimped? You know, the dimped. Uh, no, DMT. Yeah, that's the one. Like, nah, bro. Hey, he ain't not hip. He's yeah. not that hip with it right now. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not hip. That's the problem. But that's okay. We're going to get you right. I'm a little bit yeah, old. we'll catch you up, man. We're going to get you You're going to catch me up? Training wheels. Get yeah, man, yeah. Starter program. You're, you're dealing with a functioning addict over <laughs> here. I'm fucking, I'll set you straight, sir. Okay. I, Nick, know, Nick. I know some friends. I got some cousins. And wow. Hey, Sam. I know where it goes. Sam, you think we fucked Laura up today? No, but you know what? Laura can hold her own. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. And I think, truthfully, like, people like Laura, 
I love her because of she's a good person. But oh, very good person. She's learning the real world. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. she's always lived in a different in the, world. <laughs> <laughs> go, no, keep it real. Yeah, no, 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 keep, keep it real. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Right? She lives in the hills and she's understanding. That's no, Laura, Laura, Laura and John, they can't, listen, John worked very hard. John didn't make a lot of money until later in life. Yeah, yeah. You know, John, John you know, John, the surgeon. He's blessed right he, now. He's, oh, he's one of the best but surgeons in the country, too. though. He's a good person. Too. Great person. Right. Not good. He's, he's great. not a guy that lives in the hills. He's he works on cunts. <laughs> Holy shit. Sorry, John. Sorry, <laughs> John. I'm hey, just playing, dude. Sorry, John. John. I'm just, I'm doing an Italian amp. I'm just fucking playing, man. No, nah, you're good, dude. Don't John, worry about it. They John know. loved it. No, John knows. John loved it. Listen, John, if John, listen, nobody can believe how John and I are so close. You know that, Sam. Yes, 100%. And they're two totally opposites. Totally opposite. You're talking about a fuck up criminal and a fucking top line fuck of the country surgeon. Absolutely. And you got, and we're best friends. You know, we, we, we chill it, man. We fuck I, it. I bet I, you if you asked John what Serp was, he wouldn't know. Of course not. I don't even know what the fuck a Serp is. Stop it. <laughs> Serp. Oh, sure. oh, yeah. I was like, what's a Serp? Like, is that like, I don't know, like a minty fucking drug. I'm like, whoa. You know what he said? Tell Where me do we more. get it? Where yeah. do we get it? Where do we get it? All right, so what's up? You got the plug? I ain't talking about what? no Aunt Jemima Serp, John. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Nick, as the young man in the room, 25 years old. Now, you got Jude is 45. Sam's 50. 52. I'm 52. I'm 62. Man, lotion works, bro. Fucking so, hey, man. Hey, Jesus fucking out. Christ. Okay, okay wait. So, I look like Nick, a fucking so Nick, so, Nick, what do you think of the old guys? Honestly. Crazy. Fucking tell us. Well, Larry's built different. Um, yeah, Larry's crazy. Larry's just uh, off the wall. What? In what way? What do you mean? <laughs> you really did you not listen to yourself for the past hour and a half? Well, but why am I built different? and you just made three shanks just off the top of your head. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so totally no. Like it was like this was like such a normal conversation. <laughs> Yo, I felt I didn't feel weird at right. all. Not one. What the fuck? fuck so man. you said I'm going to lock the RV. Yo, Sam, I'm not but built like, different. No, yes, you are. What I am? you absolutely, and we all have different walks of life. No, you're definitely, you're definitely a character, but in your own ways, but not professional. A, yes, Very he knows. He yeah, he knows who go. he is. There you go. Larry. He knows what he's been through. They lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> he knows Larry, who he is. They, they work with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> If, if you're mad, some income is stopping. No. Don't listen to a fucking thing they say, man. They're fucking no. lying. And, I and, love, and, dude, and I love these friend. guys, man. Yeah, and I, yeah, but like, they're lying to you, man. You're a fucking psycho, bro. <laughs> no. He's actually, he's dropped a few notches. If you would have saw him before he got here, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm cool. But if anybody fucking, if anybody fucking jumped on my man, I'm fucking kill He says right? that all the time. Yeah, but like, didn't move, just all <laughs> face like, right. I was like okay all right it's settled but like i'll tell you settled. your friend your friend jude is def he's definitely an interesting character too oh he knows time. who he is you know who you kind of remind me of um, i'll say jamie kennedy and we'll be good no no <laughs> the guy from jackass you oh, steve-o steve-o Oh, but yeah, yeah, Steve, yeah. I, I met Steve-O. I used to do a lot of shows, and Steve-O was a character. We yeah, did a show. Crazy. We used to do a show at the county line. Um, I used to do the oh. fights. I used to do the tough man competition. Oh, really? Before the county line? Yeah, and then we had him do a show one time, and it was so crazy that he mentions it. As soon as he got off the plane, he runs through the airport. I, I went to pick him up with security with Kahona, okay. with Leslie, yeah, yeah. a guy who we, we got. We got big with. security where we need He's about 360 pounds. And he's a black uh, man. He's just put in the Hall of Fame. Uh, judo, uh, second degree, Damn. black belt, Judo Hall of Fame. Hall, judo Hall of Fame. But we went to this pick up Steve-O from the airport, and he runs through the airport. He's got a backpack on, and we have a sign. He runs to us, and he slides in the secure, everyone's looking at him. He gets he gets up and he goes, "I'm fine. I just just did a line of ketamine." My guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would never ever do anything that Steve-O does because I don't like pain. Okay, but I fuck with that guy. I okay, <laughs> no. So you guys are definitely different characters. We have our own different ways, but yeah. you are who you are. And I think in life. 
that's kind of that's kind of that's the cool. Way you take it to who I, you are. I, you know, Sam, you said that I I know Jude now a lot, a lot of years, and you know what? We can sit and talk business, or we can sit and talk fun, and we can have a lot of blasts. But we're doing both. And, we're talking exactly, and, and he and he's you know the reason we connected for we don't judge each other. We don't we 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 have fun. We don't look at. Whatever level we get at in right. YouTube or or, or serious radio, I just radio. don't like liars, bro. No, like if you, right. like, if you don't like, just, well, I don't either. fuck with oh, liars. I, don't, I hate them. We're good, you know bro. that. Right. Like, I don't want a fucking. I don't Absolutely. like rats and I don't like liars. That's me. Right. That's it. That's that's and, always. Been. I don't like human. I don't even like the little rat. The rodents. right. The real rodents. They bum me out. Oh fucking a! They do. <laughs> they got a. They did the plague. That's no good. They no. did the what? The plague. They started the plague. You know, oh, yeah, the yeah, bubonic yeah. plague. plague. But real, now, Nick. Real you know why I like Nick? Nick is in this company. Nick is, knows me very well. He kind of grounds. Nick's a little different. He grounds you. He does in a little he bit of a way. A little but bit. But like that's because he's wild as fuck too. But like, oh, he is wild. <laughs> oh, you should have seen him on the dance floor one night. Oh, we did an event. Oh, I want to hear that. He's breaking it down. You're having a good time. We kill it. You, you know, we I did an event, it. you worked all day, and he's out there dancing, shaking he, it down. He has Larry, some chocolate out there, too. Yeah. He danced with some chocolate. Oh, he likes that chocolate. Better get pick that shit. Yeah, you better get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't back down. You know, I missed that, Don't Sam. Don't back down. Tom I Patty. worked all Tom day Patty. that night, and I, I went back and slept in the RV. Oh, sleep? Well, I don't know about slept sleeping with somebody. But anyway. <laughs> I'm, but about no, to, I'm about to be on that bed, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I already came to terms with that. A long time oh, now, ago. Don't, don't be some you miss. Oh, I can't hey, do that. You had to come into Jesus. I just said, I already can't. Yeah, man. Like, are you kidding me? You should see the. You should see when I throw up my mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> no. But it looks like the ocean, the maps of the ocean or some shit like oh, that. Like with the craters. Me. But back to Nick. No, Nick. Yeah. Then we all yeah. have our differences. We're all, you know, different people. Different types of life, but walks of life. But at the end of the day, we all who we are. And you know what? We don't argue with it we don't fight it no and you know what we all have, have the same goals we want we want to do good we want to build this company we want to all even you do we talked about that yes. building the media build what we're Damn doing right you don't Jude he's coming with us sam he's gonna come hold, with us hold the phone there ain't no end of fuck jew gonna be walking around with you in some spalding shorts and ain't worth a hundred million so when you worth a hundred million you can walk around some spalding shorts you got that underwear. dude i'm wearing some champions right now <laughs> Had to check. Yeah, Jude had to check. Yeah, I, was check. Like, Hold up, man. <laughs> I, t- I took off the jeans. I had to- Larry was talking. I was like, "Hold on, man! I got <laughs> fucking." Like, he I, did. He I, comes I, off the plane. He's all normal shit. He comes in. I dress nice, but like, yo, it's fucking hot out here, man. It was fucking oh, so he comes in here. We're sitting infection. here, and he goes, "I gotta go change that." Go. Let me show you. What we're gonna stay and all that. You know, he's, he's in trying to talk to me. I couldn't even concentrate. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, this is mad hot on my nuts. And, 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 he, and he comes in, he goes, I got to change. So he gets into shorts. I'm in shorts anyway, Sam. You know that. I mean, always. For Spalding's? No, I got my. I, I got the same clothes from yesterday. Oh, okay. I had an awesome shirt. Look at Sam Larry, goes, Larry he really put does. On his shirt. Larry's like, you ain't coming on show if you don't put on this shirt. Larry. Look at the shirt I got on. Look at the shirt he got on. I was like, okay. He cleaned up, got that black and white, look good on him. Straight up. <laughs> we ain't not no stripes, but you looking good, dude. No yeah. stripes. <laughs> Yeah, you, hey, you got a good squad, Larry. Yeah, I, I do. Anyway, you know we're gonna go. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think we had enough uh, today. You guys think? Uh, I, I, listen, I want to say this, dude. On on the real, all kidding aside. First of all, I love you know Sam, Nick. You guys really. This is what makes me want to keep doing this, it, and I mean that in a hundred. But you guys are good at it, so yeah. Well, no, I meant that. I'm gonna go to but you guys. We work together all the time, and we might. You know, we, we do our things, and I trust Sam is a thousand percent. Same with Nick. Jude, you and I become friends years and years ago, and we met, and, and we never missed a beat. And yeah. I trust you 100% to come on here, do the right. You know, you know TV, you know the business, you know media. Fucking A. You've been yeah, on but he shows. keeps it real. He, keeps he does. He oh, 100% real. And he, he knows no that. And nobody. he knows I'm going to do that but too. But the name fits his ass too, though, boy. Rude Jude. He ain't rude. AKA. A.K.A. Jude Angelini. A.K.A. White trash. We're a white dog. Yeah. He loves that. <laughs> Sam motherfucker loves that. I love shit. it, dude. You know, That's good shit. Dollar hey, when, hey Sam, dollar. you remember when I told you to put on the show? You love it? Absolutely. He goes. It was crazy because you show. He loved the show. show. He goes. I just happened. I was coming in to do some paperwork and then. I, Nick told me you guys are here and you guys are doing the show, but that's just 
That the works out fucking show. awesome. It's cool to see all three of y'all working together. I can really see like what all the parts everybody plays. And, and you're going to be a part we of have that. have to. I mean that. Yeah, I I'm hope dress so. better. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> Don't yeah, worry. I can't get serious. Yeah. Fuck hey, you. Nick, I get fuck. Nick's not going to let you two out of the RV. Oh, no. With some motherfucking small things on. I can oh, tell you that fuck right it. Yo, Especially if we're going to an event. If he's I got do, some, he, we went shopping the moment. at Walmart. Bleed. But, but you, got some nice, you got some nice joggers Absolutely. and some hoodies. But we definitely, you know what? I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to see what Alex has got going on tonight, too. Uh, maybe we get Jude out. Or somewhere we'll see. What's Alex, going on. what do you got going? Who's, Let I, me. We'll she got a church. We'll figure that out. Does church. she know her place? <laughs> it's Ash. Right. It's Ash Friday. I bet. Let's it, do it. It's Alex. Lent. I might miss uh, something. Oh yeah, I stopped eating for Lent. Wow, my, my brain took a freeze. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, Sam's me, got me. Let me handle. But it. I, I just want to say before I go, I want to thank very much. So Oliva Cigars, they sponsor this show. They are the best. Uh, Gloveless shout Partners, out, shout, shout out to, out to Oliva, to Corey, Corey and the whole place. We got a show coming out. I was showing Jude the show. Uh, we have a whole new show coming out. It's amazing. Uh, the book, Gangster Redemption, everybody, check it out. Of Larry's, course. Larry's going to dress really good on the show, y'all. You should see that shit. I'm going to really dress nice. Slacks, hard <laughs> bottoms. He's got some Stacey Adams on deck. Boy, He's going to fucking really stunt. He can't rock them, though. Boy, you know that ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got some Maury's. He's got the fuck. I got fucking flip-flops in the fucking goddamn fucking sport. <laughs> Man, I would have loved to get all your watches and shit from the 80s, bro. I bet you was fucking stunting. Oh, cash, boy, bro. I have fucking bracelets, diamonds and Sun. shit, Rolex, and yeah. all the fucking shit. Of course, gold, fucking. I had the fucking Oyster Professional with the diamonds, the whole fucking nice. $20,000 <laughs> Look at Nick. Nick goes, you, Nick, Nick's going to stop me from fucking. Didn't having, a lot of that get thrown away in, in paint cans? He just yeah, tossed out? Actually, my dad, fucking, who, who died of Alzheimer's, used to hide my shit. And, I don't know. All right. Anyway. He posted. Yeah, he did. It's my dad. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I really want to thank Jude. Thank you thank very you. much for coming on here. Thanks I, for I can't me. wait to do the fucking the the cooking show with we're you. About to make some eggs. We're gonna we're gonna have. I'm fuck. fucking hungry too, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's breakfast burritos. Man, we gotta let Jude go. Jude need to go lay down for a couple of hours. I love man. it, man. No, I, love I, it. I can't. I just won't get back up. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta just keep Nick, going. Nick, Nick, thank you for coming on, Nick. Yeah, thank you for all you do. You know that, Nick, in the show, Nick is. Nick is my right hand man, and he really helps us out, and he helps Sam out, helps everybody out. He does a great job with the videos and everything else. Uh, if you guys got suggestions, always if you like our shows, let us know. Jude, thank you very much, everybody, and we are gonna put this out on my great, great fucking outro. Have a great day, everybody. Please stay safe. Don't touch anything. <laughs> it's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton.